We're on. Happy Sunday, all. Happy Sunday, y'all. Guess who I brought today? Larry's here. We're going to go through the rules really quick. I know I'm good. Platforms are plugged in. We are good today. Okay, guys? We are good. No testing required. I know we're good. But please let me know in the chat. That would be incredible. Okay, guys. I have to move quick. This will be the quickest. How's the hair? Got to do a hair check. We always, we always have time for the hair. I would give shout outs. We'll save that till the end. Because at the end, you guys know, I don't know if you know, we have eight speakers on right now, about to happen. This is, this is happening right now. I'm going to tell you what they're going to talk about super quick, but this will officially be the shortest. We're good. This will be the shortest intro in Lalonde history because eight speakers in one webinar. These are all coaches. These are all professionals. These are industry leaders with top-notch topics. You pay for this stuff. I don't care. You pay for this stuff. This will be so jam-packed. My notes are ready to go. I'm good to go. My empty notepad. The size of this thing. It's ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to rock. Get your notes ready because I want you to know in advance, replay will be available on the Branding University. I should pop the link, shouldn't I? I'll just say it. It's going to be throughout the webinar. I have all my, I have my technology in check this time. Guys, say hi to each other. Welcome each other. Here are the rules, guys. I have my, I have my blocker today. No company links, no spam. It's not me. It's Larry. This is the CEO. This is our CEO. Larry will block you. That's rule number one. He's going to have to kick you out just for now. Not permanent block. No spam, guys. There's a lot of it. You grammars are the worst. I love you. Your audience is building like you're, you're my fastest growing audience. But please, no spam links. If you're spamming, you're probably not listening to me. Probably have a spam bot. So no company links, guys, please. This is pure value. We're not selling anything. As a matter of fact, I'm giving something away at the end if you want to stick around. Something, in my opinion, something that will make you money. How about that? We'll stick with that. So let's go. The guests, all everyone's good. Everyone's plugged in. It's going to work this time. Okay? Mary Beth Botchel will start out with the anatomy of a Facebook Live. I'm taking notes. Next will be Willie and Daria Lagagna. Hope I said it right, guys. BES, three actions to focus on daily for success. Got to hear that. And I also have to shave as I'm glancing over. I apologize. It's always about me. Eh? It's always about me. Come on, Mark, focus. Next, after that, Helen Ronenberg, the next revolution of engagement. After that, Chris Collier, the six pillars of business. After that, Robert Bennett, purpose is direction, purpose, competence, accountability. Listen to these topics, guys. These are all, you know how much these people charge per hour for, co for coaching? Do you guys know? Well, I'm sure it ranges, but it ain't cheap. Trust me, I would know. Len Mooney, lose your mind, find your destiny. Scott Lindstrom, how to get a ton of Facebook likes to your fan page. And Mark M. Lalonde, the perfect funnel. What do you say we rock? I told you, shortest intro ever. I'm not taking questions now, guys. I see them popping in. You're going to have to wait, okay, guys? The replay will be at facebook.com slash branding university it's live so it's going to be on the timeline just go there and find it it's the best bet okay guys that's the deal we're going to start off with mary beth you ready to run you guys ready to go are my speakers ready my speakers mine are my speakers ready i'm just going to say really quick guys don't take this stuff lightly these are successful people in the industry i i I twisted, I, I twisted their arms, I guess. I used my charm. I used my Lalonde charm. I got them on. This is incredible, guys. 
free value. So I'm going to be watching the replay. I'm going to be watching the replay. But more importantly, I'll be taking notes today as this thing is running. Are we good? We're good? I'm going to be taking notes today. You know why? Because at the end, if, you, if the speakers want to stick around, that's cool because you're going to get questions. I do these things all the time. I'm going to grab them from Instagram and I'll grab them, grab them from Twitter Live. So there's going to be a lot coming in. I'll, cho I'll pick and choose them though. So if you're around to answer them, that'd be awesome. If you're not, I'll do my best based on my notes and my knowledge. So Larry's ready. He's got his, let's see here. He's got his beak on the block button. He's got his beak on the block button. No spamming of links. That's the only rule. And uh, no adult material. What's with the trolls these days? What's with those sex trolls? Get out of here. Get out of here. Scram. <laughs> okay, let's do this thing. Mary Beth is first. I'm plugging you in and you're off. You're off to the races, guys. I'm going to say a little interlude in between. And it'll just be the transferring to the next speaker. I promise I will do my best not to babble until the end. Until the end. When I talk about my perfect funnel. Which you guys are going to be able to use for free. Ready? Let's rock this thing. Mary Beth, let me plug you in and then we're on. We're doing this right now. Oh, okay. There I am. I'm on. Hi, Mark. How are you? <laughs> Thanks so much for... Uh for allowing me the opportunity to come on your your webinar today. Um, happy Sunday, everybody. And Mark, thank you again for letting me um, come on and talk about Facebook, Facebook Live. So uh, my name is Mary Beth, and I am here to talk about the anatomy of a Facebook Live. Now, um, before we get started on that, I just want to briefly talk about a few tips that you need to keep in mind when you're doing your live and this really has nothing to do in the order or sequence in which you do everything which is what I'm going to get into in a minute but one thing that is really super important is where to look on your phone okay when you're sitting at your computer it's pretty easy because the camera is just like right above the top of the computer however when you're on your phone and you're doing a live from your phone you need to know where the lens is okay now um, when you're holding your phone against your ear speaking on your phone if you pull it back and you look at where your earpiece is you know the part that goes up to your ear right next to that is a tiny little dot that is your camera lens that is where you need to put your eyes to see eye to eye with your audience. If you're looking at your own image, which is what I'm doing right now, I'm watching myself right now, can you see how my eyes are diverted as opposed to looking at you eye to eye right here? I want you all to think about something, okay? If there's three of you at the coffee shop and you're having you know, coffee and one person is having a discussion, of course they're gonna be talking to both of you by looking from one person to the next person, including everybody in the conversation. But if they're just talking and only looking at the person next to you, kind of like talking like this, and they're only looking at the person next to you, do you feel a little bit left out? Do you feel like you're kind of not part of the conversation because they're not making any eye contact with you? Have you ever felt that way? Yeah. Sometimes you're in a networking group and people are like deliberately ignoring you because they're just not even looking at you, not even acknowledging you <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, it's not a good feeling. So when you are doing a Facebook Live, you want to make sure that you're looking at them eye to eye and you're talking directly to them. Because if you're talking like this and looking at yourself in the screen and looking at everything, in essence, you're talking to the person next to them. You're not really talking to them. So really important because when you do a Facebook Live, it creates emotion. It creates a connection with you and the viewer, and that's what you want. That's what's going to create that impact. That's what's going to create the know, like, and trust factor. If you are not looking at them eye to eye in the face, then it's going to feel like they're not really talking to you, and they're not going to be too interested to stick around. So just pay attention to that. A trick that I do is I take a quick selfie to make sure that everything is you know, where it needs to be, especially in the background checking everything um, and you also want to look to make sure that you're looking right in the lens and you know exactly where that's at so when you take a selfie you can see um, how it's gonna look so that's one little tip another little tip is of course smile don't be so afraid 
when you're doing a Facebook Live. Pretend that you are just sitting across from your friend, just talking about whatever it is that you're talking about, okay? Don't be worried about, all oh, these other people are looking at me. 80% of the people that watch your live are watching it as a replay. They're not watching you live, okay? So there's only a few people that are really watching you. So if the numbers are low or if you're scared, don't worry about it. Get it out there. Let it run its, you know, its replay and let people find it a little bit later, okay? And they will find it and they will love it because, you know, you're building that credibility. You're building the know, like, and trust. So don't ever be afraid of doing a Facebook Live. Um, just make sure that when you do take that leap or if you're already doing Facebook Lives and you want to improve, just remember those little tips of finding where the lens is and then, of course, just having your personality and, you know, flex with your voice up and down and laugh and smile and, you know, just, just be you because that's really who... Yeah, that's all you can be. Don't pretend to be somebody else. Just be you. Okay, so on to the anatomy of a Facebook Live. Just like any story, there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. It has a flow to it. Your Facebook Live is really no different. You want to start with certain steps in the beginning, do certain things in the middle, and then you want to end it a particular way for it to be successful. Now, does it need to be diligent and like this every single time? No. I mean, um, sometimes a Facebook Live is just a fun little thing. And you're just expressing an opinion. Um, you're not really being very formal with it. So, of course, you know, use your, use your judgment. But overall, if you're trying to convey some value and send some value out there into the marketplace and into your niche, you, you kind of want to follow a little bit of an anatomy, um, a little bit of a structure. And that also helps keep you on pace, too. Okay, so you don't deviate and get off and ramble on, kind of like I'm doing right now. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to post a captivating headline on your profile page. You want to let people know that you're going to be going live in maybe 5 minutes or 10 minutes, um, 30 minutes, whatever the case is. You want to indicate that. You want to put the headline out there. And you want it to be something that's curiosity-based, something that is going to intrigue them, to want them to stop scrolling and read what you've got and oh gosh that sounds really interesting I, you know I, I, I gotta make sure I watch this so you want to draw them in the best way to do that is through a curiosity post a headline could be um, X ways to Y and Z okay fill in the blanks with your niche X ways to Y and Z three ways to lose weight without uh, w without feeling hungry, uh, three ways to lose weight without, you know, a, a, a two hour workout, you know, whatever it is that th your niche is, fill in those blanks, but that's a really good headline, X ways to Y and Z. Another good one is the secret to X. Everybody wants to know a secret, so fill in the blank for that. You can also ask a question, who else wants to X or who else wants to X, Y, and Z, okay? Fill in the blank, create curiosity, and then let them know when you're going to be going live. Put a time frame. Step two is when you're getting your live prepared, go ahead and take that same headline and put it in your Facebook title. Okay, you want it to be congruent. You don't want it to suddenly be different when they go from one step to the next. You kind of want to keep the flow. So that's step two. And then once you get the live button, the little red square there up at the top that says you're live, um, you want to introduce yourself. You want to take a moment, say who you are, give them your tagline, you know, let them know what it is that you do. And I, what I like to do is I like to let people know where I'm from, you know, because I think it's always intriguing to hear where people are from. Sometimes you get, you know, someone, um, you know, all over the world. I mean, it's, it's, it's the Internet. So you're going to find people everywhere. And it, it always excites me to see people like, you know, I have people watch me from Ireland, from Switzerland, from Australia, from, you know, uh, New Zealand. It's just it's fun. So that's my little thing is to, you know, get people to communicate where your location is. I tell people I'm from South Florida. Now, while you're introducing yourself, you are allowing Facebook to build your audience. Okay, Facebook is going to need a few minutes to kind of let people know that you're on live. And while you're doing your introduction and doing a few other steps, Facebook is doing that in the background. So you never really need to announce, okay, I'm going to wait a few minutes for Facebook to build my audience. Don't do that because it sounds really kind of, you know, um, it just doesn't sound good. Okay, I'm going to keep it clean. <laughs> all right, Mark. Um, it doesn't sound nice. All right. It sounds like the people that are on your live at that moment are being cast aside because, well, I'm not going to go ahead and give you the information. I'm going to wait for other people to join. 
don't do that. Just go ahead and do some other steps I'm going to give you and allow Facebook to do its job in the background. Don't announce that that's what you're doing. Um, the second thing after you introduce yourself is to announce the headline. Let people know what it is that they're coming in for, what it is that you're going to be talking about. Um, and then the, the third thing that you need to do is instruct people. Let them know if they're calling in live, drop a one. If they are watching you uh, on a replay, drop a two and then indicate where they're from. So that way, when you go back through the thread, you can see who is actually been on your video live or who was on, you know, watching the replay as a replay. You know, who is it watching your live as a replay because you can see the difference, you know, the ones and the two. So uh, that's a really good way to kind of, again, you're communicating with them, you're engaging with them, but at the same time, Facebook is over here kind of building your audience. So after a minute or two of doing that, introducing yourself, doing your headline, and then instructing. Always let them know, hey, if you find value, go ahead and share this and tag your teammates or your friends that would find value in this. So go ahead and again, tell them what you need them to do, okay? Because they're really not going to think about it on their own. Some people will, but the majority won't. So tell them, let them know that um, you would love it if they, you know, liked, shared, uh, commented, and, um, you know, uh, it tagged people. Now you want to bring on the goods, okay? You want to, if you did three steps or three tips, you want to make sure that you go through those steps, you know, quickly. You don't want to drag it on too long. So you would tell them step one is X, Y, Z. Step two is, you know, X, Y, Z. And before you get to step three, take a second and engage back with your audience. Ask them to do something, to raise their hand if that sounds like you, or you know, type a three down below if you can relate to this, or if this situation has happened to you, or whatever it is that's congruent to whatever you're talking about. Engage them. Let them know that you're listening to them. Stop and pause with your presentation and ask them for their feedback. And it will create a little engagement. It'll get you some more posts on your thread. And it'll give you an opportunity. Maybe somebody has a question, you know, to go ahead and, uh, you know, give a little shout out. And then go back on to your final tip, which would be tip number three. Okay? So after you've brought on the goods, you want to wrap everything up nice and pretty with a call to action. Now, this can be a couple of different things. It can be a giveaway where you tell them, you know, hey, um, if you found value in this and these three tips, I've got actually 10 tips I can offer you. Go ahead and drop PDF, type PDF down below, and I will send you out the PDF with a list of 10 things that, you know, for X, Y, Z, whatever your niche is. You can do that. You can also just let them know if you don't have a PDF, just say, hey, you know, um, I do have some more tips that I can offer you. I only shared a few of them in this live, but connect with me, send me a PM, and I will be happy to share with you those other tips. You don't have to give them anything except a little bit of your time and communication, you know, if you don't have a PDF to give. You can also do a, um, you know, let, let them know to go somewhere. Maybe you have a post on your blog that indicates all of these tips. You can say, hey, head on over to my blog to catch the rest of these tips. I got seven more really good tips for you. Head on over to XYZ.com and you can check out my post over there. Always give a call to action at the end of every live. You want to let your audience know what to do. The best thing to do is to give them something, give them something that is going to enhance what they just heard from you because it's going to, you know, just, just make them bond with you more because they've heard what you had to say. They like what you had to say. Now they're going to get something from you as a freebie, like a freebie giveaway, which leads to building trust. And that of course leads to, you know, uh, building that strong relationship where they're going to want to purchase from you because you've created yourself as an authority figure. So that's pretty much the anatomy. You want to start by posting on your profile page, letting them know when you're going to go on live. You want to transition that headline over to your live headline so people can see as they're scrolling through, uh, you know, what your live is going to be about. As Facebook is building your audience, you want to introduce yourself. You want to announce a headline, what you're going to be talking about, and you want to instruct them about dropping a one for live, two for replay, let them know where you're calling in from. You want to bring on the goods. You want to take a moment in there to engage with them, bring on the rest of the goods, and then wrap it up with a call to action. So that's kind of a nice structure to follow along with your Facebook Lives. It's going to keep you on track, and it's going to keep everything really um, 
you know, if you, if you get a little bit off track, it, it just, it kind of deviates you and brings you right back to, to where you need to be. So, um, I think I hear my dog banging on the door over there. So I apologize about the background noise. Um, but two things I do want to give you guys before, um, I say goodbye. And one of them is I want to give you a PDF with everything that I just talked about, the whole anatomy. I've got it broken down so you can print it off. You can read it. You can follow it. I also have a few bonus tips in there as well that I didn't go over in this live with you, Mark. So, um, you guys head on over to my fan page, which Mark's going to put that across the bottom. It is uh, facebook.com slash Marybeth Bochel fan page. Okay, so you can go ahead, hop on over there. The pinned post is going to indicate how you can get your PDF. So just scroll right down to where the pinned post is, and you'll be able to follow those instructions to get your PDF and print that off. And I hope you found some value with that. The second thing I want to do is I want to invite you guys to a a fantastic training that is starting tomorrow. It is a 10 day boot camp for social media success. I know there's a lot of you out there. I was part of this group that, you know, was posting on uh, Facebook, posting on social media, not getting any of engagement, not understanding why it wasn't working, having confusion, feeling like you just needed something, some sort of training to help you get the success on social media that you want. There is a 10-day uh, challenge, 10-day boot camp, starting tomorrow. So there is going to be some information on that pinned post over on my fan page that you can download and get some more information on that. Perhaps you are in a situation where you are just really just fed up. You just want more engagement. You want more likes, more comments, more people uh, reaching out to you rather than you chasing them down, okay? This training is going to teach you how to do that. This training is going to set you up for success, give you the basics. It is going to be a little bit of a commitment for your time every day for 10 days, but it will be well worth it. I invite you to download the information that's on that pinned post over on my fan page to learn a little bit more about it and hope to see you at the training that starts tomorrow on Monday. Okay, all the details are gonna be in that download over there on my fan page. So Mark, you, thank you again so much for letting me come on and tell your audience about Facebook Lives. Please reach out to me, you guys, if you have any questions or if there's anything that I can help you with, I am happy to help. So y'all have, uh, have a great Sunday and I'll talk to you soon, bye-bye. My little patented tappity tap, as always, OMG, thank you so much, Mary Beth Botchel, The Anatomy of a Facebook Live. I'll tell you right now, I've got notes down and I was doing about 90% of my FB Lives wrong. We will hash out the notes at the end. We'll do QA at the end as promised. Maybe the guest speakers will be around. If not, I've got notes I can answer my take on things, if that helps. So guys, here's the deal. You have the URL at the bottom of the screen for the replay. Just go to facebook.com slash branding university, branding Y-O-U university, and the replay will be right there in the timeline. Okay, guys, we got to move on as promised. We've got all the guests plugged in. We're ready to go. So next is Willie and Daria Le Gagnard. Okay. They're going to talk about BES, three actions to focus on daily for success. And I'm like you guys, I'm taking notes. This is new to me. I'm learning. That's what we do here. So Willie and Daria, you're standing by. I'm plugging you in right now. Let's do this. Hey, Mark, what's up? What's up? We're here. Can you hear us? Yes, Mark. We're here. We're here. All right. This is, right. This is Willie and Daria. Hi. Hello everyone, we are excited. Uh, I can't wait to just unload this uh, content with you, for you, and I uh, hope you get great value. All right, just give us a second while we pull up our slides, we share our screen, okay? All right, all right. get ready. All right, all right, I think uh, we're showing here. Can everybody see our screen? All right. Okay, I guess that's a yes. Let's All right. go. All right, let's do it. All right, so three actions business owners should focus on every day for success. 
Just curious, how would it feel if building your business became easy because people saw you as the authority that they would want to listen to or buy from? You know, like the name brands out there, the Apples, the Disney, uh, Dell, you know, all, all the big names, Coca-Cola, all the Geico. Household, all the household <laughs> names. <laughs> yeah. So imagine... You are able to have unlimited people to talk to. What would that be worth to you? And I know when 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 you hear that phrase, unlimited people to talk to, uh, most marketers think that's like pie in the sky. It, it's it's not possible. There's so many marketers out there, and 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 all that kind of stuff. Truth of the matter is, if you do the research, you realize that there are over a billion people who are on Facebook alone. And if you combine all of the gurus and all of their groups and all of the people that they have in their network working, doing their thing, trust me, they probably don't even make up a percent. So there's always people for you to talk to. You have to believe in that. Yes, unlimited is unlimited. If you ever struggled trying to figure out exactly what to do online to build your business, <laughs> we know exactly how you feel. Our first year in business, um, we're special education teachers. Uh, they were late nights trying to figure out what to do, how to move our business forward. Nothing seemed to work until we discovered a marketing system that helped us put our activities in perspective. And that's really, really, really key. All right. And that perspective is B-E-S, best. What is best? B-E-S. Uh, B-E-S is three simple actions to focus on daily for your business success. It's almost like a, a daily mode of operation, but this is more crystallized. It's a more crystallized activity to get your business pumping. All right, so a little bit about us, our lives now. We have helped 32 business owners grow their businesses online. We've generated over 3,000 leads in, the, in our marketing system, and we've earned five figures all online. We now have money to travel and focus on growing our online coaching business. We are trainers and coaches in the business space. Well, this is our traveling thing, and um, you know, we 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 just came back from Hawaii, uh, and um, you know, <laughs> whew, I, I I don't even know how to put those experiences in, in in words. But those of you who do travel and you you do it frequently, you you get a sense of what that's all about. So um, it's self explanatory, right? And also, we just want to show you our family. This is our daughter Erica, our son Jamil, and this is our granddaughter Chloe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the seal is not part of the family, but no. for, for a minute, he, 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 it was it was pretty cool to, to hang out with the seal. Yeah, yeah, that was a big thing. Over 200 pounds, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, so here's what you're going to learn. You're going to learn three simple activities that you can implement daily to ensure your success in your business. Number one. Build your audience. Yes, you have to have an audience. These are the people who will be listening to your emails, uh, reading your emails, excuse me, um, listening to any audio you might do, um, watching your presentations, just like Apple and Samsung have a particular market. Uh, let's say uh, designers have their little niche market. Your audience is, the, is 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 what we would call online your audience versus a niche market or whatever. It's all a play on words, but you get the drift. That's what we mean. These are people that you can communicate to on a regular basis and who you will eventually get them to buy just about everything you have to offer because you provide value. All right, so here are some places that you can find your audience on Facebook. So within Facebook, you can find your audiences in groups, pages, 
Messenger, and I saved mini chat for last because that is a, a, a bot component that you can use with Messenger to build your audience and to uh, introduce yourself and get your, your name and your services out there. And let me just give you a little tip on the groups. Uh, before you just jump into a group, kind of, uh, or at least once you join it, kind of see what type of group it is because there are a lot of groups out there. All people do is just spam stuff. Even the people who are spamming don't even take the time out to see if anybody responds to their spam. So they might be picking up leads and they don't even know because the next time they go into the group is just to spam some more. So you want to make sure that you are in a group that is interactive, that has some guidelines, that is very, very clear in terms of what they want to be put in the group so that everybody can benefit from it. Okay? So that's very real. Other than that, you'll just be spinning your wheels and then, once again, not getting any type of results. Yeah, that is so true. That's a biggie, really. All right. So some other um, places where you can find people will be through um, your audience uh, would be uh, blogging. Snapchat. Snapchat is really big. A lot of people are snapping and it's not only the children. You have adults that are snapping and they're snapping for business and they are making an income right on Snapchat. YouTube, of course, videos is where it is and Periscope. Blab, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. Now, as we all know that LinkedIn is more of a kind of a professional realm and that's where a lot of professionals post their resumes and connect with other professionals so um, that's a great source to get really really good leads at um, blab um, I'll let you talk it, about it, that. it connects but... with uh, Twitter and it's another uh, medium where you can have a panel of four people where you're interacting with them and once you finish your um, your interaction you can record it and it's automatic automatically um, posted on your Twitter account. That's a really cool um, platform to um, build your audience. All right. And Pinterest. Pinterest is image-based, another place where you can um, upload your, your images and um, attract your, your audience as well. And always remember, wherever you are posting, whatever social media format you're posting, well, your main purpose is to provide value and get engagement. Anybody who says anything to you that is positive, like anywhere from hi to what's up, you want to acknowledge that person and kind of engage them in a dialogue. This is where we talk about engaging your, uh, your audience. You provide them something, get them to react, and if they react, you react right back to them. And then that way you can actually build that kind of audience that you want where people will begin to get to know you, like you, and trust you. All right. Awesome. All right, so be, you, you, you went a little bit ahead of us with the engagement piece, but that was awesome. But we still have places where we, we have some more places where we can um, um, find our audience and build our audience, which will be Instagram, Twitter, and, of course, email. email. Yeah. So as Willie was saying, number two, engage hey, your, your audience. audience. Yeah. Respond to your friend requests. When you get a friend request, don't just confirm it. Start a conversation. Ask them, what inspired you to friend request me? I think that's a very um, open-ended question, and you you will challenge people to state their purpose in terms of what it is that they're doing and what it is they, they're, they're reaching out to you for. And this is how you keep yourself, again, ahead of the pack and kind of dismiss anybody who's not um, serious, who's not going to take your, 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 what you're doing online, serious tire kickers and so on and so forth. So, you know, you want to definitely do this, um, because it's important. Uh, at the end of the day, social media is a, uh, electronic kind of platform, but nevertheless, you are talking to individual individuals who are sitting behind computers. So you want to get them to move from that notion that I'm sitting behind a computer and I can spew out anything to I'm sitting up behind a computer and I want to connect with this individual because this individual has, 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 has hit my hot buttons, they hit my top 
topics. They're in line with what I'm thinking. They're going in the direction I want to go, or they're already there. So let me latch on to them. Let me connect with them. Let me read their emails. Let me see what they're blogging. Let me see, and all that kind of stuff. So that's very, very critical. Yes, exactly. And the process that Willie is talking about is called sorting. So it's very important that you, you engage your audience by having a conversation. All right, and you also want to look on their page and find something in common to keep the conversation going. So that way you can find out what their needs are, what 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 are they like, if it, even if it's someone you want on your team, someone you want to work with. So you want to ask questions and you want to be genuinely interested in them. And the easiest way to actually to be the easiest way to be generally interested in anybody is to look for common ground. They have children, you have children. There are a lot of trade stories that you can talk about. They're into sports, you're into sports. Look for those things that you are into. Don't just, you know, look at the picture and say, oh, you got a nice family. You, you know, <laughs> it, that that's not, that's nice, but it's not deep and it does not provide a connection or floor for a connection so good definitely go deep yes yeah awesome all right so you want to go to their profile and page and and you want to like and comment on a couple of their posts because guess what you'll find that they'll do the same for you yeah and and again that's critical right um you if in any type of group setting if you saw if you see one person doing something and you like it then you ask them, well, hey, how are you getting this done or how are you doing this? You want to become part of it. So it's the same thing with when you go on someone's page and you look at their content and you not only like it, but you, 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 you let them feel or experience the reaction that you had to it. So if you're doing it for them, then this is the law of reciprocity. They feel obligated to do it for you. And this is another way that you can build your audience and deepen the connection. Yes. All right, so now we're up to number three. Yes. Sell to your audience. <laughs> yes, indeed. Can't say that enough. <laughs> you know, the last letter is always the strongest one. Sell, <laughs> sell, sell to your audience. Of course, you need a strong call to action. What does that really mean? A lot of people don't even understand what that. I know the first time I heard the phrase, uh, strong call to action. I'm like, what, do you, what, what does that really mean? And in essence, what happens is once you've got somebody hooked into your email or your video, you kind the you you, you know the brain is kind of like on mush mode, and <laughs> it's your responsibility to guide them not only by a, you know from the outset where you attract them, you've hooked them. Now after you've done all of that stuff inside of their minds, you got to tell them exactly what you need them to do to get what you have to offer. That's pretty much what a call to active is a call to action is. So you know while you're doing your interview, you direct them. Listen. Click on the link below and you'll get that free video. It's the same thing that you see on TV. Dial 999-1212-555 and get your free uh, 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 water bottle. Yep. It's, it's the same concept. And we'll double it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, you you, you want to definitely engage in that. And you and for each presentation you're doing, you want to have strong call to actions and do it at least minimum three times. Right. Right. It's true. All right. So you also um, can sell your audience from a sales page. Your sales page, it, it, it goes through what product you're selling, what office, what, what service you're offering, um, what, what, what you're going to get, what's the benefits, the pricing, all of that. Same thing with video sales pages. Funnels where you go from page to page and you're showing you um, different products that that are offered, and of yeah, course, and you can upsell using funnels as well. Right, and of course, the telephone. Yeah, you tele got <laughs> to talk to people. Yes, after gotta you pick up the book phone. them and they come through, you got to call them and let them know that you're alive and that what they actually opting for is possible to get through you. Right. This is something that I learned early on. If you get a lead and they leave their phone number, that means they want you to call them. They're yes. saying, call me. Yes. That's yes, why yes. they're leaving their number. So make sure you call your leads. All right. Messenger, mini chat, uh, 
email webinars and retargeting ads. Retargeting ads are so critical. So a lot of times we uh, create things and all of a sudden, you know, uh, either they don't work or they're not servicing. And, you know, the thing is, if you just come back to it sometimes with a new uh, uh, experience or a new idea, a new concept, you can take that same content and, again, Re repurpose it. Repurpose it. Mm -hmm. And with the retargeting ads, um, what what's so um, powerful about those is, have you ever went to a website and let's say you looked at a pair of boots or um, a bag or whatever, or a shirt, right? So I'm appealing to the men and the women and you don't buy, you know, for whatever reason, you got distracted, you decided I'm going to do it later or whatever, right? And then you say, okay, let me go over to Facebook and see what's going on with my friends. And you see the exact thing that you maybe looked at maybe an hour ago half hour ago five minutes ago and you're like oh my god that's the, the thing i was just looking at at target wow that's so cool yeah it's done by design what they yep. did was they dropped the piece of code and now it's tracking you it's following you it's legally following you yes indeed you know so that you will buy and guess what you know you could do that too you know the big stores do it so can you yep very powerful to sell your audience because eventually you're gonna buy right okay so mini chat and and messenger they are come they i i i they're separate programs but you can combine them because what i like about mini chat it is a um a, a bot that you can use to communicate with your subscribers and messenger. The best part about mini chat is that it's free and it's approved by uh, Facebook and it is powerful. There's just so many ways for you to use that to your advantage to sell to your audience. And that's a separate training all by itself. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we hope you have gotten value. And from this point on that we have given you enough information where you can go out there and start tomorrow implementing these three simple tactics to yeah, best to, your business <laughs> <laughs> to uh, grow your business successfully so don't forget you can connect with us on facebook uh facebook.com forward slash daria and willie forward slash uh connect with us on twitter and it's twitter.com slash forward slash uh daria and willie and our blog is willieanddaria.com. All right. So we thank you very much for listening. Hey, Mark, thank you again. Yes, thank you for this opportunity, Mark. And we will talk to you guys soon. Soon. Awesome. Okay, you guys know the Tappity Tap is coming on. You hear me? Tappity Tap. Thank you so much, Willie and Daria Le Gagnard. Yes, I have notes. Yes, I learned a ton. Always learning, right? Okay, we're going to talk about the BES, the three actions to focus on daily for success at the end. So we have to move along. We have a limited amount of time. So next is Helen Ronenberg, the next revolution of engagement. Ooh, Helen, you're plugged in. You're good to go. You are on, my friend. It's all yours. Hi, everybody. It's Helen Ronenberg, and I have been given the privilege to share a little bit about Live the Dream 8 and what we learned there. So I just really want to thank Mark for allowing me this opportunity because I really appreciate it. And I know that um, what I'm going to share with you in the next couple of minutes is really going to either blow your mind if you haven't used um, or heard about messenger bots before. Um, and if you have maybe a little bit more insights of what it can mean for your business. So messenger bots haven't been around all that long. It was first released in November 2016. So just shy of a year ago is when Facebook started releasing it and really started to have a look or, you know, started telling us about the possibilities. So this is really very new technology. It's really, really exciting to be able to be part of it and to 
be able to be one of the forerunners into understanding what messenger bots can do for us. So some of the things that I've heard before is that it's spammy, it's automating Facebook, and yes, it's all of that, but it is also so powerful and as everything that Facebook does, it's always to enhance the you know, the communication to the customer and the user experience. So, you know, we can really be rest assured that Facebook is putting in all the fail safes. So this new technology is going to be better for the users of Facebook rather than better for the um, market, the people using Facebook as a marketing tool. So before I begin, you know, I am going to be specifically talking about Messenger, which is, you know, a Facebook tool. It's really become a tool on its own. But there are other tools as well. WhatsApp is, is coming through strongly as well with, you know, some of their Messenger bots. But I'm going to be concentrating on Messenger, which is a Facebook tool. So um, let's get started. So what is Messenger? So Messenger is really just, uh, or Messenger marketing is really just a, a way that we can communicate with our customers. Um, you know, we communicate with our customers in different ways and Messenger is really just becoming a new form of um, communicating. What's great about this one is that it's tailored to each customer. So whatever the customer does, um, you can then communicate to them specifically in an automated way on, you know, depending on what they responded to you about. It's also really, really effective to create very quickly rapport with your customers because you're giving your customers exactly what they need. It is then, you know, it's conversationable. It's not um, a lot of the times, uh, you know, like email and whatever, it can be really, really canned, especially if uh, you think about some of the, you know, the emails that we get. Messenger is a lot more conversationable than what, you know, communicating with our customers is, is ev has ever been. It's also um, a, oh, sorry, it's, you know, this is a big thing that's come up as well. Is it going to replace email or not replace email? It's just going to be an additional tool to email. A lot of companies don't use email to specifically market, but if you have a business, then you're probably using email. I wouldn't be throwing out email anytime soon. I think, it, you know, it, email is still a very important part of, marketing to your customers this is just going to be additional to to that so the next thing is how do you use messenger um, marketing so you can use messenger marketing to share promotions you can actually ask your customers when they would like to you know hear about it is it weekly is it monthly and depending on what the user then or the customer then answers you can send them promotions once a week or you can send it once a month or however you've set your um, your messenger bot up you can really tailor it, tailor it to help your customer you can share your customers information now i've done this um really well to be able to tailor exactly the customer's journey through sharing my company's information. So first sharing the products, do they first want to know about the products or do they want to know about the comp plan? If they found out about the comp plan, do they want to talk to you? And I'll go through a really, really very brief overview of one of the tools that I'm, you know, that is recommended to use Messenger bots for. Um, it's not going to be an in-depth at all. You know, I've only got a very short time with you here, but it'll just give you a, kind of like a sense of what is possible with um, Messenger bots. You can also use it to deliver tailored training, which I think is absolutely awesome. So say, for instance, you are starting off a new um, you know, business builder 
and you want them to do specific training once they've done that you can take them through each module of the training similar to a um what, what do you call it um I, I can't think i'm just having a blank but as soon as they've done one training you can then they can come back to you and then they can do the next training so and depending on their understanding of the training you can then send them down another one path or another path depending on what they would like to learn next which is really really awesome you know what another thing that customers uh, you know that some people are using it for is for faqs or for customer service so customers will then ask questions and based on the questions you'll then give them specific answers but really the <sighs> You know, the sky's the limit when it comes to messenger bots. Whatever you can imagine, you can create a sequence for your customer through the messenger robot. Um, the next one is why does it make a difference? And one of the big things is that this is the first time ever that people are using more messenger apps than they have been using social media networks which is absolutely mind-boggling if you think how many times you check your email versus how many times you respond to your messenger uh, messages or your whatsapp messages um, just think for yourself you probably are checking messenger far more than what you are checking your email and whether you're using messenger as an app on your phone or messenger on a you know on a web browser it doesn't matter it's the same application um, and you know here, here are some of the stats that email rates have just continued to slide down and down and now they're only about 20 percent and the click-through rate or ctr is one to three percent which is pretty poor right if you've got a 20 percent open rate and you send in 100 emails only 20 of those hundreds are actually open your emails and then only one to three percent so three out of a hundred people if you're lucky are actually clicking through on your links so versus bots which 80 percent open rate now these are statistics you know my open rates are far higher and i know some of the other um, people using messenger bots they are having you know 90 to 100 percent open rates on the um, messenger rather than in email and also the click-through rate is between 10 and 30 percent and i even think that that is pretty low because i think most people are clicking through on um, in messenger than are you know in email so really the stats are there right now this is the one way to go when it comes to marketing to your customers so what you should consider when using bots is you know like everything be consistent so have consistent language have consistent options don't leave your users hanging at all you know always close the loop for them so that they know what to do next also make sure and this is so key and what facebook has really done really really well is they have made sure and they've put uh, safe you know um fail safes in in place so that it always enhances the user's experience and when you are doing your you know your bots make sure that you are also enhancing the user's experience another great thing about bots versus or messenger versus um, traditional emails you can use images and you can use videos which is awesome instead of having to send somebody to another um platform you can actually right there you can send them an e uh, a video which is awesome because that makes it so much easier for the user then to watch your your video also a big thing is don't be too wordy now as soon as people see too many words in a message in a um, text that kind of their mind kind of closes you must remember we have a very short attention span in today's time so as soon as there's too many words we stop so you know be very very careful about the amount of words that you use um, then oh sorry I 
don't think I okay and then finally um, one one of the tools that we use for um, the robots is many 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 chat or many uh, chat dot com that at the moment is one of the best tools that are currently out there that most of the gurus are using so that's certainly one that we would um, recommend so having said that I'm going to quickly stop I'm going to go now into many chat and I'm just going to quickly do a really quick overview of that Okay, so here we are we're at one of the um, one of the accounts that I have. So, how many chat works is for each page that you have, you will have a many chat account. So, this is just one of my old pages. So you can see I've got no subscribers, but I just wanted to show you this so that um, I could give you a little bit of a demo. So, this is your dashboard, and this is what will show you your active subscribers. So who is actually subscribed to your fan page? And a subscriber in the ManyChat um, platform is somebody that's interacted through sending your page a message through Messenger. So um, they haven't really, it's not a like on a page or everything. They would have had to have interacted with you through your actual page. What you then have is you have what you call growth tools. Um, and this is where it really, really gets very cool because you can have a landing page, which if you look over here, I'm a widget, you'd actually create that. You could put an image in here, but you can say, hi, um, welcome, hi, welcome. If you would like, a, um, yeah, Maybe just grab your copy, grab your free copy here. So this could be your lead magnet. This could be anything that you have created that adds value to your customer. So in the old age, you would need lead pages or if you are part of MLSP, you would use Funnelize or whatever. This is really just a cool you know, landing page that you can create. And then you send it through Messenger, which is really cool because as soon as they hit that, then they have subscribed to your ManyChat or to your um, Messenger robot, which where you can then just send, keep sending their messages or you can in, um, keep interacting with them. So you can do it with two ways. You can either do it through here or little. So I'm really not going to go through this in, in detail with you if you want some more um, information you can um, you know do it through here but there you can see you can just create um, a image it really is pretty cool and there you go and that can image can be whatever right so this is just the, the landing page I just wanted to give you a quick example of that so this is what they call growth tools and the growth tools are things where, that you can use to increase the amount of people that are subscribed to your messenger. Now, once again, your subscribers are the people who interact with you through your page. So that also makes it really, really important to start using the tools that Facebook has given you to build your business. And one of that is your fan page. So if you haven't got a fan page yet, Start it, start getting lights, start building up your fan page because down the track it's going to be even more more important. Um, you have a live this live chat, which is really cool. Obviously, I don't have any subscribers, so I can't really um, show you, but basically I'm just going to tell you what it is. It's almost like a CRM. So if you've interacted with someone, it'll come up here. You can then close it so that um, you know, you can have conversations. If you finish the conversation with the customer, you can just close it. So it's really a really cool, um, almost like a CRM that you can use. Broadcasting. So this is like an email. You know, the, this is great if you're going to be doing, um, you know, monthly or whatever 
the jury's a little bit out on to sh if you should use broadcasts or not because that's sending an, uh, a message to all your subscribers and the whole thing around um, automation is that you create a unique experience for all customers but you have the automation down here where you can actually create sequences which I just want to click on this so this will so this is the introduction, telling them how they can unsubscribe. And then you will have educational messages that you can see after a day, after 20 minutes, after one hour, after three days. You can also do them as, um, you know, if, if they do this, then you do that. If they don't do anything, then you can send it after a day. So, you know, this all goes into uh, you know you can go into a lot of deep I can go into a lot of detail but I just wanted to give you an overview of what you can do with many chat so basically those are the you know the most important ones is really um, being able to do the growth tools now the growth tools is pop-ups that you can put on your website as well and then also the, the automation. So that is setting up the, um, the sequence. The, so the, the sequences that you can do. There's also video tutorials that, you know, really um, goes into and really explains the functionality of ManyChat that I didn't want to get into right now. If you update to Pro, it's $10 a month which then gives you additional um, features and things like that. The great thing about it is that ManyChat's currently free up to 500 subscribers. So it really is a great way for the new marketer to start building up um, a list within Facebook, which they can then you know, interact with. So I trust that this was helpful. Look, this is really just a very brief overview of messenger marketing and what it can mean for your business. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can send me a message either on my profile or on my fan page. Doesn't matter either one. I'd be happy to chat with you and explain more about ManyChat and uh, messenger bots. Thanks again, Mark, for giving me the opportunity to just share this. I know this has been really, really quick, but 15 to 20 minutes is not a long time. This is a huge subject and it's going to continue evolving as we move forward. So thank you very much, Mark, for giving me the opportunity to just share a little bit about what I learned at Live the Dream. Thank you. Bye for now. Amazing. Okay, that was Helen Ronenberg with the next revolution of engagement. As always, got my notes. We'll talk about it further at the end. But that was amazing. I cannot add to that. That's for sure. That's the most notes I've taken so far. So Helen, thank you so much. We have to move along. The clock is a ticking. Next up, Chris Collier. Okay, the six pillars of business. Chris, I'm going to jump right in. Quick reminder, guys, for the replay of this webinar, facebook.com slash branding university. That's Y-O-U-N-I-versity. <laughs> university. U Y O U university. Okay, guys, got to move along here. Chris, you're all plugged in. You're good to go. Okay, my friend, you are up. Hey everybody, Chris Collier, the social media icon. I'm glad to be here today. Um, let me give you my background a little bit. My name is Chris Collier. I have 20 plus years in management experience. Um, I've left the management industry looking for home-based business. Excuse the clutter in the background. We're in the middle, midst of a remodel here at my lair, my money-making lair, um, if you will. Um, We'll get into it in just a moment, but I want to say a couple of things. I want to thank Mark and the Branding University team for giving me this opportunity. Live the Dream 8 was my first event, but um, one of the things I've learned is we have to show gratitude where gratitude is due. And I want to thank Mark for his leadership and consistent 
pushing of uh, us and Brainy University and all the people that are on this we webinar. Um, I want to say thank you for everything you do, Mark, um, your countless hours you put in, and everything that you do to make things great here. So um, thank you so much. Let's get into uh, my part here. Um, he told me I could only go for about six hours. So being a um, not only a manager, but a pastor, a minister of the gospel, um, this will be done about eight hours. No, I'm just kidding. It'll be, um, I'll be done in 10 minutes or less. So um, I'm going to start sharing my screen now, and we're going to go right into it. My portion is the six pillars. So thank you so much, and let's get into can you hear me, Mark? Can you see my screen? Great. Okay, just real quick. Uh, you guys don't have to take notes because I have provided this very presentation for you in a download. So if you listen to the end, I'll tell you how to get it. Thank you so much. The six pillars. First pillar is vision and personal development. You're going to notice that I implement some of the own my own stuff i have my own thoughts my own uh revelations if you will while um i was sitting at live the dream and some that happened after while i was at home so please forgive me if my notes don't match yours for those of you who are at the event and those of you who weren't take take the meat and spit out the bones okay number one vision and personal development how you see yourself is it the most important thing in your business your vision and perception is just as important as any other activity you do in your business. Because you see yourself as a dollar uh, leader, you'll be a dollar leader for life. If you see yourself as a thousand dollar leader, you'll be a thousand dollar leader. If you see yourself as a millionaire, you'll be a millionaire. You have a business plan and a daily method of operation. You should have personal daily development plan as well. So um, I recently heard, uh, I've heard it several times, but it just came back to me that you're only as wealthy as the five closest people to you. So if you don't have friends that are making money, they're close to you, or if you're not studying people um, close to you, then you won't be making the money you desire to make. So start studying the people that you want to become and become that person yourself and start acting like that person now. That's a whole nother thing. Uh, pillar number two. Personal branding and target marketing strategies. Before I get into this one, I have a friend who does this professionally. He said this, marketing is setting expectations. Branding is an expectation or meeting the expectation of performance. So branding yourself is a self expectation of performance. In other words, it's like if you're trying to sell somebody and you don't go for the sale by saying, would you like this? You say, how would you like me to build this to you? So you're going straight in. So it's an expectation of your performance is branding. Personal branding. Brand yourself as an authority or even better yet, as an authority slash brand builder. Don't just brand yourself as a brand. Brand yourself as an authority or brand builder. Especially in the home or network marketing genre or niche, that's what you want to do. You don't want to just build yourself as a brand you want to build yourself as a brand builder, a brand maker. Your vision and mission will determine your target audience. For example, if you are baking cakes, you do probably will not be selling to um, people who do auto parts, unless it is someone who likes cakes and auto parts. So um, I'm not trying to oversimplify, but I'm trying to help you. You should come up with a mission and vision statement. Very simply put, a vision is what you want to do, and a mission statement is how you accomplish it. Some people turn these around, it's fine, as long as you have both. But once you get the vision of where you want to be, so let's say in your business, you want to be super six-star diamond. You want to work backward from that, and how do you get there? So your first, you, you, then you want to be a five-star diamond, super studded five star diamond and you want to be a super studded four star diamond and you got to work backwards so how do you get to a super studded one star diamond well you got to become a manager so to speak um whatever your business is or if you want to make a million dollars in sales 
Maybe it's a money goal. Maybe you want to become a person who gives away a million dollars a year. Whatever the case may be, work backwards from your goal. Have a goal, have a date, and work backwards from there back to where you are now, and then do the daily method operations that it will take to get that outcome. Does that make sense? Great. Monetization strategy. How do you plan to funnel people through uh, to make money? Is everything congruent in your copy, content, and branding? In other words, what I'm saying, what I'm asking there is, when you have a monetization strategy, for example, um, a great one is Twitter Lead Machine. We're all familiar with that through Branding University. We have a Twitter, um, a Twitter training we give away for a Twitter Lead Machine. So we have Twitter Lead Machine 1.0, and then the Twitter Lead Machine as something we're selling. It's congruent. We're not we're not selling uh, Facebook Messenger ads through the Twitter Lead Machine because it's not congruent. We have to do everything that's congruent. So if we're giving away a free Facebook Messenger training, and then we're doing Facebook lead machine, so to speak, then those things are congruent. So we have to remain congruent in everything we do. So what is the next step? So once they become a member of Branding University, what's your next step for them? To get them to sign up for another business, another opportunity? To get them to do XYZ business, whatever the case may be? And then what's your end game? Do you want them in a continuity program where they're buying something from you every month? Maybe your end game is to get them to become a platinum partner in uh, Branding University where they're paying $77 a month and because you're already a platinum partner, you're making 75% on that. So do you see how this works? What is your personal goal? And then from there, do you know even what their pain or their disappointment or their situation mm -hmm. is so you can get them into the system to get them to the end. Content creation and marketing strategy. This is the next pillar. This is pillar number four. Sorry, I missed it in the slide. Um, there's no four there. Are you a SEO marketer, a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter? What kind of content to reach what kind of people? To sell what kind of product? Remember, facts tell and stories sell. So if you're not selling enough, tell more stories. However, to get more buyers, sometimes you have to become a buyer yourself. That's something that uh, Brian said from stage that really sunk in with me. To become, get people to buy more, you yourself have to be a buyer. You will attract what you are. Number five, follow-up and engagement strategy. You can use autoresponders to initially engage people, but at some point you must interact, whether it be uh Many chat, email, direct messages, uh, phone calls. You have to engage your audience. You must know and demonstrate an ability to answer questions, coach, train, and assist people through the sales funnel and beyond. If you just get people to buy stuff and then you leave them flat and you're not able to answer questions, you're not be able to meet their needs past that, they're going to see that you're just in it for the sale and you're going to fall flat on your face. And your business is going to go nowhere fast. Number six, what are you using for traffic strategies? Are you doing a Facebook ads campaign, a Facebook like campaign, um, solo ads, Twitter lead machine? Are you using that to get traffic? There's so much. I uh, just thought I'd put some of them in here. You can scale to your desired growth. And then finally, I want to thank you so much. My greatest desire is to produce and deliver great and valuable content. If you like what I have shared, reach out to me. You can also like and share my content. You can reach me, uh, go to my website, my blog at www.thechriscollier.com or you can visit me at Facebook and Twitter at TMSICon or you can connect with me at the bit.ly link here. That bit.ly link will also get you a download of these um, PowerPoint slides and you can email me at Chris at the Chris .com. Tapity tap. Thank you, Chris Collier. That was incredible. Hopefully you can stick around for QA after. I've got a few questions myself. That was amazing, Chris, with the six pillars of business. Next up, plugged in, good to go, Robert Bennett. Excuse my little Facebook dings. Robert Bennett, purpose is direction. Purpose, competence, accountability. Wow. 
three super important topics. Let's see what you got, Robert, my super coach, super coach friend, I'll call you. Okay, Robert, you're up. We're going to cut to the chase. Let's do this thing. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, uh, for a contact link, uh, robertbennettcoach.com. Uh, that just goes to my Facebook page. You want to reach out, um, connect with me on Facebook. Why? Why? Go ahead and do so. Send me a friend request. If you're not super creepy, I'll probably probably accept you and we can talk. Um, so my name is Robert Bennett. Uh, welcome, everyone. I'm going to keep this really short and sweet. We're kind of uh, already starting to run over here. Um, so I'm going to keep this pretty quick. Uh, I've been in network marketing for 31 years now. I've been a consultant and coach uh, for well over 20 years. And um, I'm a, a certified coach with MLSP, uh, the Live the Dream event, event that we're talking about. And um, so it's uh, really amazing. The, uh, I'm going to cover a couple different things here. Number one, I'm going to cover just a couple points on what Dr. Joe Desvinda talked about uh, this last weekend, two weeks ago now. Um, and then a little bit about the, the new mentoring program that was rolled out uh, at the event. Because it's phenomenal. It's absolutely, it's just unbelievable, uh, the new mentorship program uh, at MLSP. So first of all, I want to talk about, um, Dr. Joe was talking about, I know Lynn's going to cover uh, some of this. I want to cover just a couple of things that he covered. That it, Because if you ever heard me talk before, you've been on any of my calls, my webinars, or see me on stage, whatever. You know, this is something that I talk about all the time. And he talks about uh, purpose is your direction. What is your purpose? If you want to truly gain and see your direction of where you're going, what is your purpose? What is inside of you? What is it that you want to do to do something, to add value, to add increase, to add prosperity to other people's lives? What is it that you want to do to change the world? What is your purpose? And once you define your purpose, you can really focus on your direction. You're going to focus on what it is that you want to do and how you want to achieve those things that you want to achieve, your vision, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, things that you want to do for other people. It's so important that we have to have our vision. We have to have that vision in our minds. We have to see. We actually have to see our purpose. We have to see our vision. And therefore, we can, we can take the direction needed to start achieving those things that we want in our life. He talks about... Uh, purpose, competence, and accountability. So number one, this is the three components that he has to have, that somebody has to have for them um, to work for his company. And so purpose, they have to have a purpose. What is their purpose in life? What is their purpose with this job? What is their purpose with their, their business? What is their purpose with this product, with your coaching, with your service, your opportunity, whatever that it is that you have that you're offering to people? And you have to be confident. You have to know that you're good enough. You have to know that you're worthy to, to go out and provide value to people. You've been going through this life. You've garnered an education for so long. Your story alone gives you worthiness, gives you competence to go out and share that with other people and actually change people's lives. Every one of us has that competence within us. We have to know that. We have to understand we are competent. I am worthy. We have to change that old thought pattern, that old thinking process that we have that say that we're not good enough from some made up bullshit, maybe in our, our kid when we were kids and our parents sold us or our relatives or whoever, right? And we keep running those over and over again in our life. We have to get rid of those. We have to think about our purpose, our passion, and what we want to do with our life, our intention of our life. And we'll start rewiring our brain. We'll start moving in that direction. And accountability. You have to be accountable. You know, if you say you're going to do something, you say you're going to show up somewhere, you say you're going to do this, whatever that may be, do it. You be accountable. You be accountable for your actions and responsible for your actions. And so... Had to have intention, we have to get really clear on what we want, really clear on our purpose and actually see it, see it with our mind, see those pictures in our mind. That's how our mind works. We, our mind sees things in pictures. And if we actually see our purpose and see our intention, then our direction will be easy to, to follow. Our direction will be kind of laid out in front of us. Now, it doesn't mean that you don't have to put in the work, right? A lot of people, the law of attraction and all that, think about stuff and it just comes about. That's not entirely true. You have to think about what it is that you're wanting, but you have to go out and do something as a result, right? That's where a lot of people fail. They're not consistent in their action, and therefore they don't get any results. That's why like only 5% of people make money in business, in traditional business, network marketing, whatever that it is, because only 5% of the people stay consistent and do something all the time. They're the ones that are accountable. They hold themselves accountable, and they keep going and keep going and keep going. And they stay consistent every single day. And if you do that, 
magic will happen. Do that for 90 days. Go do, uh, let's say, a video for 90 days. I'm getting way off tra- topic here. Go do a video for 90 days straight with, with some good content and a good call to action and see what happens. Do that every single day for 90 days. I, I dare you. And then let me know. If you can do that for 90 days, let me know if you've made it 90 days. I don't have very many people that ever make it 90 days. Um, so uh, that's it real quick. I'm going to talk real quick about the MLSP mentoring program. Uh, there have been hundreds and hundreds of students that have come through, clients that have come through the coaching program uh, since inception that last year's Live the Dream. So it's been a little over a year now since the coaching program was developed and launched. Uh, this year, it lived the dream eight here a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we kind of changed the entire curriculum of the mem- now it's called the mentorship program. And you actually get a coach that is certified with M- M- MLSP. Easy for me to say. And really, it really closes the gap. It really it accelerates time in your business because you have a professional working with you and holding you accountable to doing what you say you're going to do. Like what Scott was talking about, a likes campaign. You know, your coach may have you do something like that to start getting engagement on your page and start building your audience. And this is going to be covered later on. But you first have to build your audience. You have to have somebody to talk to. Right. Uh, So that's the first step to everything. Um, so if uh, you're not in MLSP or uh, if, you, if you're not in the coaching, the mem- mentorship program, get with the person who invited you here. Get with somebody here that's uh, speaking on the webinar today and check it out. It can uh, it can make a big, big difference in your life, a big, big difference in your business. So um, I still talked a few more minutes than I wanted to, Mark. So um, I'm done. Hop on out here. Brother, I got to repeat some of those nuggets. I'm going to start with let me just come out and just that accountability with the video with call to action for 90 days. Isn't it funny how literally people that say they want it so bad, they want it so bad from based on my coaching experience with my students, it's less than 1% who make those 90 days. It's so Isn't that funny? It is. And, it's so few. And it's when you say magic happens, just that guys just that little thing make a video with make sure you have the call to action do that for 90 days straight there's an organic growth on facebook it's like an algorithm i can't even explain and people share and things just magic actually does happen with that one little thing right it's amazing it's amazing hey rob that was incredible man you are you're quite the uh you're quite the coach i've never heard you speak before man this is the first time (laughs) Right on. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Okay, man. So you guys know how to reach Robert. Robert Bennett Coach, B-E-N-N-E-T-T, coach.com. It'll go to his Facebook page. It was under his picture the whole time. So, Robert, thank you, my friend. We're going to jump to the next guest. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, Robert. You guys can tell this guy is a coach, right? Super coach. Robert Bennett, thank you so much. With purpose is direction, purpose, competence, accountability. Robert, appreciate you very much, my friend. Thanks for being here. Okay, so I'm going to remind you guys, the replay of this webinar will always be on the timeline of the Facebook page of Branding University. That is Facebook.com as displayed right at the bottom there. Facebook.com slash branding Y-O-U university. Okay, we got to move along. Two more speakers. Well, three more if you count me, but, you know, I'm not that important. Who am I kidding? I'm saving the best for last, y'all. That was my Canadian sarcasm. Okay, next up, Len Mooney. Lose your mind Find your destiny. All right, Len. On five, you're on. Five, four, three, two, one. You're up, Len. Okay, so in the next little bit of time, I'm going to summarize some of Joe Dispenza's teachings. Now, Joe, Dr. Joe talked for over, I think, about two and a half hours nonstop at the webinar. He didn't have any notes. He didn't put up any slides, so um, it was hard to take notes. But I've been a student of Dr. Joe's for quite some time. I have most of his books, and I've I've not read them or studied them because this isn't a light read. So he's got three books that you might be interested in. Interested in. You Are the Placebo was one of his original books. 
And Dr. Joe has a long history, which we don't have time to go into today, but uh, 30 years ago, he healed himself from a major, major industry uh, injury in which he was told he would probably never walk again, and he walked away from it. He healed his own body, and he, he, he writes about how you can heal your own body. He also has a book called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, and Evolve Your Brain, and it's those two books that have a lot of the bases we're going to talk about today. Look, this is all mindset stuff, but it's the most important component of your success. Without it, you won't succeed. We often hear things like be, do, have, the idea being that we must be the person we want to become and do the things that person would do before we can have the things that person would have. And our ego tends to fight back with us and say, how am I supposed to be what I'm not? How am I supposed to be like a millionaire if my checking account is empty and I have a pile of bills on the kitchen table? So we argue back with that concept. Unfortunately, it's not the way it works. And for you to become successful in your business, we have to understand and embrace a fundamentally different concept. And that's where we're going to go. So perhaps you want to be a millionaire, but your brain says, how could I act like a millionaire? I don't have any money. Well, you got to learn to do it. And that's what we're going to talk about. How can you rewire your brain to have your brain begin to believe that it is living in the future and not living in the past? You might say, I don't need to change my mind. There's nothing wrong with my mind. It's my checking account that has a problem. But you must also recognize that your checking account is a result of all the things you have done up until today. And if we don't change your mind, your checking account will continue to have the same result because that's where the result is coming from. So let's talk about your brain. We used to be taught that our brain is hardwired, that our brain develops and by a certain age it's fixed and we can't change it. We now know that that's not true. The science of neuroplasticity has taught us that our brain changes continuously. Your brain is not the same right now as it was one minute ago. Your brain is not the same as it was before Robert began to talk. Because every time you take in a new piece of information, your brain changes itself. It makes new neural connections. And sometimes it breaks old ones. So your brain is continuously rewiring itself. And neurons that fire together, wire together. That's how we create memories. We fire the same neurons over and over and over, and pretty soon they wire together and they become a memory. And when you get out of bed in the morning, you probably get out on the same side of the bed you do every day. You probably paddle off to the bathroom and do the same thing you do every morning and brush your teeth with the same hand and the same toothbrush and you head on out to the kitchen and you pour your coffee in your mug with the same hand and the same mug and you get in your same car and drive to the same on the same route in the same traffic jam to the same cubicle and take crap from the same people and then you come home and you, you plop on the couch and turn on the same television program and when you do all those things every day, you are living in your past, yet somehow we're magically expecting our future to be different. It doesn't work that way. You're living in your past. You're running a program. Your brain is not, isn't thinking about what you're doing. Your brain doesn't think about how to drink coffee out of your favorite mug. It knows how, your body knows how to do that. It doesn't involve your brain. It is estimated that we have between 60 and 70,000 thoughts every day. Yet 90 to 95% of them are the same thoughts today that we had yesterday. And yet, once again, secretly, we were hoping for a different future. So the question then is, how do we produce a different future? How do we quit running the same old program over and over and over again? And that's the lose your mind part of this. We have to change our mind. We have to change the way our brain is working. Every thought produces a biochemical reaction in the brain. The brain releases, releases chemicals that are transmitted to the body. They act as messengers. The thoughts produce feelings in your body. You think your brain produces chemicals. The chemicals go to your body. Your body feels the same way your brain is thinking. Your body signals your brain back. It makes more chemicals. And it's a continuous loop. If you think good thoughts, your body feels good. It tells your brain, I feel good. Your brain makes more feel-good chemicals, etc. And similarly, if you feel bad, if you think bad, you begin to make chemicals that make your body feel bad. And it goes back and produces more chemicals. So when your body feels a certain way, it just signals your brain to make more of those chemicals. And what we have to do is we have to change the whole state that our brain body system is in, if you like. We have to reinvent ourselves. And how do we do that? This is the part that's hard for many people, and this is one of the reasons affirmations don't seem to work for many people. This is one of the reasons why the law of attraction doesn't seem to work really well. We have to, we really have to begin to convince our brain 
that our new reality is in our present. We have to give it new thoughts. Thoughts are the language of your brain, and feelings are the language of your body. So when you have a thought, as we said, your brain, brain produces this chemical stew that enters your body and causes feelings. And the feelings then tell your brain to make more of those chemicals in a positive sort of feedback system. So what we need to do is spend time every day thinking about, imagining, this is, this is back to what Robert said, spending time every day thinking about, imagining, and rehearsing how we will feel when our desired future is achieved brings us ever closer to it. Remember the brain and body work in concert to produce a chemical cocktail, and that reinforces our thoughts, which reinforces our feelings, which reinforces our thoughts, and it just drives the entire system. So the question then, the critical question, is can you believe in a future that you can't see, you can't feel it, you can't touch it with your physical senses, but you've thought about it enough that your brain is literally changed to look like the event has already occurred. And if you can, you've changed your brain from living in the past to living in the future. Can you get out of bed every morning and have a vision of the future that you want to create and see it and feel it as if it's already here, even though you know it hasn't manifested yet into your physical reality? That is the question. Now, in about one minute here, maybe one and a half, I'm going to take you one step deeper in, and I'm going to pick up on something that Robert said. I'm going to take you deep, deep into the bowels of our understanding of quantum physics these days. There's a thing called the observer effect. Simply stated, the observer affects the outcome. My mother used to say, I'll believe that when I see it. That isn't the way it works. The way it works is you'll see it when you believe it. Belief has to come first. We saw the scene in the movie, What the Bleak Do We Know Anyhow, when the woman turned her back on the basketball court and the basketballs were all over the place. They were all everywhere and nowhere, and then she turned and looked and they snapped into position. It's because she looked. We see what we expect to see. If we believe it, then, and only then, can it manifest into our reality. So you have to see and believe in your future, the, the vision of what you want before it can manifest into your physical reality. And that's the secret of making the law of attraction work for you. It's the secret of rewiring your brain. It's the secret of losing your mind and finding your destiny. So by rehearsing the things you want to be, conditioning your brain to produce the chemical cocktail that then tells your body that you've already got the result that reinforces the chemical cocktail in your brain, then and only then can you bring your future desire into your present reality. That's the short summary of a two and a half hour talk by Dr. Joe. Back to you, Mark. Unreal, my friend. Unreal. Isn't it true if you act as if, right? If you actually feel like you have things? It seems so simplistic, but that's kind of how I've gotten everything I have today. It's the way and it I works. It it's, really does. It's the way it works. And, and people that don't embrace it will never have what they want. And they'll blame the law of attraction. They say, the law of attraction doesn't work. Well, <laughs> you have when to they, understand. When, the, when they say the law of attraction doesn't work, it's not going to work if that's what they believe. <laughs> Amen. That's it. It's like Henry Ford, right? Whether you believe yeah. you are right or you are wrong, you are right. It's yeah. going to happen. <laughs> Whether you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're right. There you go. Hey, I got to keep my reputation for messing up quotes, right? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Len. That was amazing. Yeah. And this is, like I said, notes are being taken like crazy. And you have to rewatch this stuff, guys. There's too much stuff there. Oh, like, yeah. This, it, is, this, yeah. Isn't the, this isn't the once and done. And if anybody wants my notes, I, I also have a 20-minute version of this talk that I've given. And you can, you're welcome to have it. Just ask me for it. So, do you want to talk? Do you want to mention your show, Len? Your show, you have a daily show, right? Lunch with Len. Well, no, that's twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Every Tuesday and Thursday, lunch with Len at two thirty Pacific. Uh, sorry, two thirty Eastern time. Okay, and so it's I, and and I just did this. I did the twenty minute version on lunch with Len last week, and we have a recording of it. So. Okay, so if they punch in lunch with Len in Facebook, they'll find it. They'll find it. You bet. Okay. 
So that's len.mooney.754 on Facebook, right? Awesome, brother. That was amazing. I will definitely re-watch this. Instagram is loving you right now. So what I'll do is I will uh, say goodbye and get the next person on. Okay, my friend? Goodbye. Thanks, Len. Tappity tap. Len Mooney, that was deep. That was deep. Probably the most important stuff, though. Seriously. Get a hold of that mind, guys. Get a hold of that mind. Okay. I feel like a radio host. So, Len Mooney, thank you so much with Lose Your Mind, Find Your Destiny. I love it. Very deep topic. I love it. I'm obsessed by it, actually. Okay, next up, one more speaker before I ruin the whole show. Scott Lindstrom. Okay, guys, really quick, I want to just say that Scott's strategy here, I know it's helping people build their Facebook likes like crazy. I'm talking like a penny a like. I know this strategy. I haven't implemented it, but I'm taking notes today and I'm taking massive action tomorrow. So Scott, Scott Lindstrom, you ready, buddy? How to get a ton of Facebook like, likes to your fan page. Facebook likes to your fan page, something I need, something I will, I will personally use. Really quick, the replay, facebook.com slash Branding you, Y O U, university. Okay, Facebook.com, branding you, Y O U, university. It's right at the bottom of the screen, right there. So, Scott, our final speaker, let's do this, Scott, and then I will come out and share the perfect funnel really quickly, and then we're going to go into QA. Okay, guys? Scott, you're on, my friend. Let's go ahead and get the presentation up and going here. All right, I hope everybody can see it. It's awesome, buddy. It looks of... good. All right, we're going to talk about how to get a ton of likes on your Facebook fan page. All right, very, very, we're going to we're gonna blow through this. So if you miss anything or you don't understand anything, just hit me up afterwards. I'll uh, help you out, okay? Just to give you a quick introduction, who am I? I'm a husband and father. I've been married for 10 years. I have six kids total, two boys and four girls. We just had twins, a boy and a girl, in 2014. I grew up in Placerville, California, a small northern California town. I've lived in California my whole life, and I currently reside in southern California in the desert. Uh, my passions, I love traveling, camping, the outdoors, and I have a passion for the off-grid lifestyle. Yes. No, I'm not a person that just wants to just go off in a cave. I actually like living off the grid, uh, and that's a passion of mine. I've been in the MLM industry since 1995, so I'm a veteran, I guess you could say, uh, you know, and uh, I'm only failing my way to success. I've been in the medical field now for 17 years, and I currently work as an EMT on a safety coordinator on a construction site. Uh, currently, they're building the new uh, hospital in Palo Alto for Stanford University, and I happen to be the on-site EMT that is currently working out there. Uh, this is why, guys, we all have to have a why, okay? So if your why doesn't make you cry, it's not big enough. This is my why. I do what I do, and I work my business around the nooks and crannies of my life to go ahead, and it's for all for them, okay? So you got to think about what you're doing this business for and what gets you up in the morning and what makes you tick, okay? Without that, you really don't have anything. So if you want to connect with me, just head on over to Facebook. There's my email address. I'd love to go ahead and uh, make a new friend with you, okay? While at Live the Dream event, we had the opportunity to get behind closed doors. Okay, you got to think about all the people that were up on stage, and these are six and seven figure earners, and they literally were in a locked in a room for about 10 hours. There was only 28 of us, and they just really just gave us the value. I have content that I'm going to be dripping over the next year. And this stuff are just absolute nuggets. So what I'm going to share with you is just one of those nuggets today, and that has to do with Facebook, okay? Now, here's a fact. Can we agree that you have a business page or fan page, and there is no authority basically on it? So if you have four likes on your fan page, you basically have no authority. 
So can we also agree that if we have a business page or fan page and you have, let's say 2,894 likes, you have some authority, okay? Has anyone ever gone to the page and seen where all those likes are coming from or individually gone through and seen that? Now, the only thing we're doing is establishing an authority. So we got some street credit quickly and easily. Now, this is not to build our, our page over the long haul. That's more targeting. This is just to go ahead and get a bunch of likes to our page. So I just want to throw this out here as an idea. Go to a business owner and say, hey, if I can get you 1,000 likes to your page overnight for $5, if you're willing to spend $5, would you be willing to listen to a business proposal? So you can sell them a Facebook advertising course. You could sell them other products. The possibilities are endless here, folks. Go ahead and literally outsource yourself here, all right? You're worth money. You have knowledge. Now, you could say, hey, wasn't that cool? What if I could show you how to uh, do it yourself and not even pay me? Guess what? There's a platform that has a community and all the tools for $150. Right now, I can get you to trial for $10. What do you say? That's just an idea. So let's create simple likes campaign using the Facebook Ads Manager. So this campaign that is targeted, it's going to be toward a generic audience on Facebook. This will build your page and position you as the authority of the industry giving you the credibility. So when you actually go and do that likes campaign that's more targeted to your niche industry, you already have the likes there in place. So you will use between a dollar and five dollars a day. I'll show you how to do it. Let's just stick with five dollars a day. That's between thirty dollars and one hundred fifty dollars a month. This will give your page between 3,000, 5,000 new likes. I'm gonna say within 90 days. I don't know what your particular, what, how it's gonna work out for you, but I can guarantee you that you're gonna see a ton of likes. Now remember, here's the big thing. You have gotta keep this simple. Everybody overcomplicates this. We were sitting in this room with 28 people and this exact presentation came up and we had question after question after question that was kind of like nitpicking at it. You just got to go ahead and just do it, guys. You know, be afraid to go ahead and fail. You're not going to get it right the first time. Just do it and you'll figure it out along the way. Okay. This is a super simple way to get results fast. And every time you take a step closer to your target market, Facebook is always going to charge you more. So I want to put a disclaimer up here. This is not the only way to get likes to your page. Some of you may agree. Some of you may disagree. That's okay. We all have our different ways about going about doing the business. Now, we're going to be setting up a, a page likes campaign with a $5 ad set as a page likes campaign. So name it, share the love, target ages between 18 and 64, the less you filter the demographics, the cheaper your ad will be. So you can get an image from Google, okay? So just go over there to the images, go to more tools, and then you can pick a non-commercial use one, all right? So we're not doing any copyright stuff here, okay? I'm not gonna tell you, go out and do that. And that's exactly what the ad's gonna look like. Get a picture of a nice little heart, and all you're gonna do is put underneath it for the caption, like to spread the love, question mark, exclamation mark. So it's actually a question that's giving in a command. So it's like an open loop. So it's going ahead and you're telling them while asking them a question at the same time. So the brain doesn't really know what to do, but just do it. Here's the ad specifics. Take a screenshot of this if you want, okay? Uh, label the campaign, share the love. It's a likes campaign. The interest target is love, okay? So you're targeting people that love love. Uh, it should be around the reach of about 850 million. The ads budget, $5 a day. We're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you real quickly how to lower it at the end, okay? Just after you run it. Uh, set the audience location to worldwide. Your demographic, 18 and 64, both men and women. Let Facebook decide what platform it wants to go ahead and choose, so choose it across broad on all platforms. Let Facebook bid it for you. Language, English only, uh, unless you actually speak a different language. I don't want my comments that I can't understand, so I'm going to make it, you know, English only. Exclude people that already like your page. And yes, guys that live in California, guys and girls that live in California, you're going to have to be excluded because California costs too much. That's just the, that's just the facts. Here's a tip. Start the ad at the midnight the same day you run the ad. So if you're going to run the ad right after this webinar, 
wait until midnight to actually run it. Now this is why it works. After you run the initial like page, you stop the generic campaign. Then you can drill down your audience on Facebook now with a quote unquote targeted audience. Now you've got a couple of thousand likes, you will be positioned as the authority. Now, once you have a couple of thousand likes, then stop the campaign and create a different ad with a target of who your target market is and its leaders. For me, it's network marketers, internet marketers, or target people like Tony Robbins, Eric Worre, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this is a gentleman that I met at Live, the last Live the Dream. I give him major props, and he's a super cool guy. Go check him out, Mr. Burt Bledsoe. He did a likes campaign of $5 a day to his fan page. He only did $70. He let it run for 16 days until all the money ran out. He got 8,594 new likes in just 16 days. Those are his results. His results are not typical. Your results may be the same or less. Now, I like to put things in perspective here, guys. For the price of a cup of coffee, you go to Starbucks. It's $2.10 right now for a cup of coffee. All right, I'm a coffee lover. I love coffee. All right, I can't live without it. I have a couple cups a day, but I hate the price that I have to pay for it. So, if you guys are Starbucks lovers and you got to have your cup of coffee today, switch to McDonald's. Go ahead, spend the dollar on the cup of coffee and then spend the other dollar on the Facebook likes campaign. No excuses, okay? Now, for everybody that attended this webinar today only, I have a free video training in PDF, okay? Here's a free Facebook course, all right? How to get a beautiful image in a simple three-step three Facebook ad strategy that got 7,195 targeted page likes in 30 days. There's the uh, address down there. Just head on over to my webpage, scottlindstrom.com forward slash likes. You can go ahead and pick up that free training in PDF. So, do you guys want some more value? Who likes podcasts? That right there is my business partner, Miguel Fuentes, and myself. We actually met at Live the Dream two years ago, and uh, we actually created an entire podcast that we brought us, you know, current upcoming rock stars and six and seven figure earners. So, if you would, uh, if you're actually getting results in your business, you're more than welcome to hit me up. But every Friday at seven, no, every Friday at nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we deliver the value and we interview a new rock star. And we have over forty episodes right now. We're now in our second season, and I gotta tell you, it is just awesome. The value back there is just compiling and compiling. So we're on Stitcher, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. And that's all I got for you. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me today. Let me go ahead. That was awesome, brother. Thanks. Appreciate it. Tapity tap. Okay, Scott, I'm going to try that stuff out. I mean, I've got some testimonials on your training for like a penny, two cents a like. And I happen to know how to monetize those likes, by the way. I'm going to throw that in. Once I get my likes at a reasonable uh, number and using this strategy, I have no problem, no problem dropping 10 grand on ads for likes if I can get them for one or two cents. No problem because we monetize that stuff. Anyways, that's a whole other thing. Scott, thank you so much. How to get a ton of Facebook likes to your fan page. One of the things I need the most. Okay, guys. Before I pop out, what I'm going to do is the perfect funnel. Oh my goodness, it took me so long to figure this one out. The perfect converting funnel. So what I will do for the purposes of time is I will just plug in a Facebook Live, Facebook L -l -l Live that I did earlier this week, which really explains the funnel, how, it's, how it works and how you guys can benefit from it too. So you're all going to get a little, well, you'll get a treat. If you choose to, I know it converts. That's going to be up to you. It's absolutely free to use. We'll talk about that afterwards when I come out and you see my, you see my face. So right now, the perfect funnel, I'm going to show you, I'm going to explain it to you in my own words. As I was happening to be walking down the street, going to the store. Actually, I was going to the money store. I was going to the bank. 
and I started babbling away. So it's a short babble, a little bit of babble, just like I'm babbling now. It's so hard to contain myself. So excited, so much value in this thing, right? Show them some love, show the speakers some love in the chat, guys. That was insane. <laughs> insane, thank you, thank you. I will show my gratefulness when I come out. So guys, now the perfect funnel. This is based on testing and I'm just gonna let my other self take it away. So let me plug in my Facebook Live that I did. Don't worry, it's less than 10 minutes. It's not a babble fest, but here we go. I'm plugging it in, and after this, I'm jumping right out. So get your questions ready. And just a reminder, guys, the replay of this entire webinar will remain on the Branding University Facebook wall, on the, on the Branding University fan page, or page, business page. You might as well like it if you want. Why not, right? <laughs> Starting to generate my likes. Okay, let's do this. I'm plugging it in right now. Here we go. I will keep this short, guys, but I want to... Uh, I'm not going to talk about my frustrations, but what I will talk about is my solution. How about that? Is there anything worse than someone coming to you with a problem and frustrations and no solution? It's like... I don't really care about your frustrations. Give me a solution, then let's figure it out, right? So here's the dealio. I have been working on the ultimate duplicatable funnel. How's the hair? Look at that. Ooh, the noise has stopped in my condo for a while. Let's get to the point here. Let's let's get to the point, shall we? Making money for. Hey, what's up, big guy? Good. Good, man. You working hard? Somewhat. Always. All right. See you later, bro. I'm cut down that tree after. Oh, you're cutting down that tree? The big one. Oh, how are you doing that? Chainsaw? Great technology. Great technology. All right, buddy. Have a good day. All right, man. You got it. Facebook Lives, right? You just never know. So here's the dilly. Dilly, yo. Making money is one thing for me. I'm not worried about that anymore. I figured it out. It's no, well, I don't know if it's any surprise, but just saying I worked hard. I figured out how to make some pretty slick funnels that convert. Now, here's where the problem lies. I need them to convert for you. I need you guys to make money effortlessly. Literally, effortlessly. So if the funnel converts for me, why wouldn't it convert for you? So that's where I got into all the tagging stuff and where do I, how do I get you guys to get paid for your efforts in Branding University, of course. So I decided to focus on one specific funnel and that is the Twitter lead machine. Oh, look at that. Helicopter is going over my condo. What have I done now? So let's let's do this. I figured it out, and I'd like to thank Mr. Chris Record for this. As you guys know, I have a handful of mentors that I listen to on oh god, maybe two three hours a day now. My eight figure my eight figure earner mentors. That's where I get a lot of. A lot of things get unlocked in my brain and I figure things out by listening to them, right? Success leaves clues. So here's the deal. I figured it out. I have a funnel that converts like crazy and that's what you guys are getting. So it goes like this. You offer free value and then I'll tell you where Chris comes in here, but you offer free value. Once people get the free value, in the free value, there is a special, exclusive invitation to a webinar that happens to be on twice next week. Register now, invitation only. That is in the free value. And there you offer more free value 
just to register, I'm a little out of breath. I gotta get to that gym. So with that being said, when Chris Record, we're gonna take a little seat here before I head in. When Chris Record said, talks about when he got into sales and he sold all kinds of things. He reminded me of myself a lot. And he talked about, here we go right in front of the garden. He talked about uh, how in all of his sales presentations, he all, the ones where he had the most success, he was inviting someone to a meeting. He was inviting someone to a presentation, okay? And that's kind of how network marketing is too. You're inviting someone to a presentation instead of closing right away. So I would have a bit of a cold, don't mind me. Don't mind the sniffles. So that just clicked because I was bringing people to sales pages I was trying to close them on the phone, but I needed to do it through what through uh, online, so it duplicates for you guys. And sales pages were only doing so much, and webinars were the way to go. And that was just like the invitation process. So once I implemented this, give the free value, and then instead of closing someone on the free value, right there and then saying, "Oh, by the way, we have this as well," that works. I don't have the percentages, but it's not enormous. And I want you guys making money now and making money fast. So what you do, well, what I'm doing for you guys, I'm building it right now. It's almost built. It's going to be released next week. We invite people to a webinar. And that is the key because during the webinar, that's where all the closing happens. That's where the bonuses come into place. That's where the discounts come into place. That's where you are tagged as an affiliate. That's where people get into the email drip where every email for the next 60 days is tagged to you. So your only job is to give someone that free value, but now that free value is going to work for you. You know, there's no follow-up required. The email drip will take care of that and the constant webinars, invitations to webinars every twice a week, constant, constant invitations to new webinars. So they're always going to be on a new webinar. And that is the key. A couple of things that are that are being done that I don't need to go into detail here. The value has to be congruent to the platform. So sniffle, 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 sniffle. So the Twitter stuff has to be marketed on Twitter, which is why when I train you guys in Branding University with our first perfect funnel, it's going to be with Twitter. We're going to market it on Twitter because marketing on Twitter is absolutely free. It's super easy to get leads on Twitter if you're using the basic strategies. When you offer free value on Twitter for Twitter leads, it's it's amazing. It's not like offering it, offering Twitter value on Facebook. That doesn't work, unfortunately. We will use that system on Facebook as well, but we need the perfect funnel first. You guys get that, right? So that's what I'm excited about. That's where I was frustrated in. I was frustrated because 99% of people, online marketers, don't make money. Money, cha-ching, cha-ching. Either I'm playing the smallest violin in the world or I'm talking about money. I need to get you guys to make money, actual cash. And that was my dilemma. That was my frustration because I wasn't able to duplicate my money-making skills. I really wasn't. And now I have it, so I'm super pumped up about it. So the frustration in the past week, aside from, I should show you guys the, the drilling going on. There's scaffolds all around the condo. So I mean, for me to focus beyond that was one thing, but also the fact that I couldn't get the conversions I wanted, the percentage conversions. And Chris Record cleared it up for me. Basically, by saying instead of closing the sale, which is super hard to duplicate. It's super hard to do to teach someone how to close a sale. Super hard. When I close a sale on the phone, I'm doing so many things that can't be taught fast. They can't be taught fast. But an invitation to a webinar can be taught fast, and even better, it can be implemented in the piece of value. I hope that makes sense. So here's my call to action. If you want to make money this year, just go to Branding University, Branding, Y-O-U, 
Niversity.com. It's absolutely free. Register as an affiliate. First, enroll in the university as a student. Go in the bottom right-hand corner. Register. Hey, how's it going again? Did you want to be in my little video? <laughs> Just kidding. Have a good day, man. All right. Okay, so Facebook Live. You got to love it, right? So that's the thing. Go to brandinguniversity.com. Register. Enroll as a student. Absolutely free. Go down to the bottom right-hand corner. It says become an affiliate. Watch that video. You'll get 25%. The first product is 500 bucks. Don't worry. I do all the heavy lifting for you. Try it out. Make some money. And then, and then you'll be able to start believing and believing that this stuff works. My only goal now is to get money in your pocket. Instead of teach, 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 which I plan on doing in the university, I want to get dollars in your pocket so then your ears perk up and now, you, now I have your attention. Okay, guys? I got to and off here unless I bring you in. No, I'm not going to bring you in. You ain't coming into the money-making dungeon. I'll come see you guys later anyways. I'll keep you guys updated. So I hope the registrations go through the roof. You deserve it, guys. This is your year. I'll see you in the university. How's that looking? Hey, guys. Catch you on the flip side. Lalone out. How is the transition? Am I back? Am I back? Mary Beth, I got to look at the camera, right? I do that all the time, guys. I don't look in the lens. I look at myself. I look at my hair. How's my hair? Guys, let me know if you can see and hear me. My mind is a little blown. Gum's got to go. I got to act professional. I am the dean of a university now. Ooh, I'm losing the weight. Look at me. I'm back, Len. You can hear me? Guys, everyone can hear me, see me loud and clear. Guys. Guys, I'm a student here. Well, it's funny. I always talk about my hair. You guys ever, my hair looks good? Thank you, Daria. I I could start going on the notes, but I, I can't. First of all, because I got stuff I want to say. Like some of those nuggets resonated so well with me that I have to reiterate them. I even took out an old grateful log, gratefulness log with a random entry from 2009 to what I ordered from the universe and how I've surpassed these things. It's so fun. Keep your grateful logs. Let's just get to it right now. Branding University, guys. I'm a student. I'm a student. You guys ever see those commercials, Hair Club for Men, where it goes, not only am I the president, but I'm a customer too. He pulls his hair back. You see all the little hair plugs there? But I'm a customer too. Well, not only am I the dean of Branding University, but I am a student too. I'm actually a student. Did you guys get? You, there's no way you got all that stuff. This is the most value. <clears throat> I'm just saying. This is the most value that I've seen in one webinar, paid or non-paid. Like, a lot of stuff went over my head. Most stuff went over my head. I don't know what bots are. I don't know what many chat. I'm looking at the numbers. Helen was showing. Even Daria, every, everyone. Willie and Daria are great, aren't they? Mary Beth. I don't want to play favorites, but there's so much stuff today that I'm like, I'm going to, I'm literally a student of my own university. And we're just getting warmed up. We haven't even launched. We haven't. This is the idea, this coming to life. But I'm just pumped up because the value in that, guys, watch the replay. I know I will. I know I will. There's enough value in that to more, more than free yourself. Remember, eh? A, I am Canadian after all. It's not all about the resources. It's about the resourcefulness. And in this case, the resources are there. There's enough in this one webinar to free you. There is. We hit every angle in this thing. Okay, enough bragging about me and the university. I just have a real knack for finding talent. I really do. I really do. When I hear you guys talk about, what is it, 30 years in the industry, 20 years as a coach, well, let me tell you guys about my experience. And this is not me being just humble. 
This is the truth. Yes, I'm a programmer. I'm good at that. I, I, I won't. I will not take that away. Uh, computer programming. Been doing it since I was a kid. I was the geek at 13 years old on the computer on the Atari 1200 with the touchpad, Commodore VIC-20. Programming as a child instead of playing sports. I was that geeky guy, so I'm good at that. But when it comes to network marketing, four years. That's my experience. When it comes to online marketing and branding, three years. That's my experience. However, it's not based on the number of years. It's based on the number of hours that matters, right? If you've done 20 years in the game, working three hours a day, three times a week, or if you're four years in the game, working 16 hours a day, seven days a week, it's an hours thing. So that's something to keep in mind. When I want something, I go. So it's not really four years. It's more like a dozen years because my life's been dedicated to it. However, I'm more of a curator now. I'm finding the talent. I'm getting it together. And I'm getting free, free training for my audience. How is that? It's a beautiful thing. So all that to say, what a freaking webinar. It wasn't mine. I didn't do anything. I will talk about how to use that funnel in a sec. But what I, I was thinking of Henry Ford, and I won't babble too much, but I want to share something very important. Henry Ford, you know, guys, Henry Ford, how he had a bunch of buttons on his desk. He wasn't an engineer. He wasn't a mechanical. He, the, he wasn't an accountant. He, a lot of the stuff that he's known for were not his things. He just had the gift, well, the gift. He had the genius to round up the troops and get them together. When Henry Ford needed an engineer, guess what? He had a button on his desk and he went, Bink! the best engineer in the world was at his disposal. So he, he, he made, he made, ooh, I almost used French. He made stuff happen because he was able to connect everything. That's kind of what I'm trying to do here or what I'm doing. It's try. There is no try. Where's Yoda? Where is Yoda? There is no try. You just do. That's what I'm doing. I'm rounding up the best of the best. And the thing is, so many of you guys are so such superstars. You're superstars. Excuse me. That was just another sale rolling in through Branding University. <clears throat> humble brag. Hashtag humble brag. I'm rounding up the talent. And there's so much talent there, guys, that you need to be seen. I'm creating the platform. Anyways, enough about that. I need to talk about something. There's a lot of mind stuff. M -m 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 mind stuff. We're on. Are you guys here? Topity top time. Ready? That's how it works. Topity tap. You guys hear me? Loud and clear? Okay. Act as if. The law of attraction. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going to go on with the law of attraction again. I am going to go on with the law of attraction again. I'm going to go on about it for two minutes. Give me five minutes. The law of attraction and the belief in that something's going to happen. Yes, there's work involved. Yes, there's this, there's that, there's the other thing. But if you claim something and you claim it and you act like you have the damn darn thing, Got to watch my language here. It's a public webinar. By the way, we're it's on all platforms, guys. Don't let these numbers fool you. There will be over 10,000, maybe 20,000 views. You'll see. You'll see. Give it 48 hours on all platforms in total. But here's the deal. The way will be shown to you. The way will be shown to you. Look at me. Look at me. Like, really, look at me. I make a million bucks a year. I make a million dollars a year. That's what I make. Three years in the business. That's what I make. That's my income. And I'm blowing past. I'm climbing every day. That doesn't make any sense. Did I know how I was going to do it? As a matter of fact, it's funny because I'm going to show you guys. A, uh, I have a grateful. You should always. Here's my trick. You want a secret? You want a secret? It's a combination of using the law of attraction. It's a combination of using, yes, your wrist with a pen. This still exists. Don't use the keyboard and don't just think it. Write it down. Write down and be grateful. 
Be grateful for something that you don't have yet, but be grateful as if you already have it. I'm going to read some. I got to be careful of what I read because a lot of them involve beautiful women and not having a problem getting dates, which, by the way, manifested itself as well. But let's just go through it. Let's go through one random entry. I put a post-it, and this is probably the number one tip I will, I'm going to give you guys as simplistic as I can because at first you won't believe it. You'll be like, I, I'm so grateful for my Ferrari parked downstairs. It cost me $320,000, but I love it. I love the smell of the leather. You're going to have trouble believing that if, unless you have a Ferrari. I don't know. But that stuff is going to come to you somehow. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a quantum physicist. But let, you guys want to hear? You guys want? Here, I'm, just, I'm doing it anyways. We, I'm going to be very careful, though of what I read, but I put a post in. I don't take a screenshot because, like I said, some of it involves beautiful women, and I think I got Victoria's Secret supermodels in there somewhere. That hasn't quite manifested yet, but it's coming. Bad joke, or is it a joke? I'm not quite sure. I guess we'll find out. This is an entry from Monday, February 16th, 2009. Okay, guys? This is what I do every single morning. I just keep all the old ones. They're all stacked up. And every now and again, I'll pluck in, reach on out and see. Let's see how much of this came true. And I've surpassed all of these things, every single one of them. So does the law of attraction work? You're going to self-brainwash yourself and your, your RAS, your reticular activating system. We kind of went on a different path here. But... Your brain holds on to so much information throughout your life. It's in there. It's in there. It's all in there. It's all about connecting those dots. The older you are, the better off you are. <laughs> Just kidding. Depends who you surround yourself by. But I have to stay on track here. Well, on track. This is completely off track. But it's important. I'm going to read to you what I do every morning. And this is from 2009 when I had a J-O-B working for the government. Okay? You ready? Okay. This morning, I am, and this is, I'm just, I'm literally reading what I wrote back then. My handwriting even changed because I used the keyboard so much. But I still write this stuff down. It's just much shorter now. There are more, um, like, seven figures was my, seven figures a year. I've been asking for that for a very long time. But I didn't put a timeline on it. Now, for my eight figures a year, I put a timeline on it. And let's just say the way is being shown to me whatever, higher intelligence, what I already have in there, dots being connected, that I'm going to hit eight figures a year pretty, pretty, a lot quicker than I thought. As a matter of fact, just to give you guys a little hint of where I'm, what's going to be happening, I might as well declare it here because it's going to happen. I know how the law of attraction works. The Branding University, we will have physical centers. We will have physical schools across the country eventually. I don't know. No timeline for that. We'll start with one. But I'll be able to get to eight figures a year just with online stuff. I would have never thought of opening up an online educational platform ever. But it was shown to me because I need eight figures. Once I get to those eight figures, I want nine figures. And let's be clear here. This is all for the good of mankind. It's not just so I could buy a different color Ferrari for every day of the week. I want that too, though. But, I mean, that's just uh, icing on the cake. It's to help others and grow the business and help more people free themselves. Holy moly, can I babble. Holy moly, can I babble. Let's go. Monday, February 16th, 2009. I highly recommend you do this, guys. This morning, I am extremely grateful for feeling 200% better than last night. Hmm. I was probably drinking the night before, to be honest with you. So it doesn't take much to feel 200% better. I just had to chug the glass of water. I am truly grateful for the delicious and healthy lunches that I am bringing to work today. Not bad, Mark. That was true. I always had good lunches. I am truly grateful for the overtime hours offered to me at work. Hmm. Not sure about that one. <laughs> well, I was grateful. I was grateful. I am, But these things were real. I do imagine a bit of things here. I am extremely grateful for the for the fact that I'm quickly gaining the ability to be a silent witness 
being conscious and living in the now. I must have been reading uh, Eckhart Tolle back then or maybe Dr. Wayne Dyer, I'm not quite sure. I'm extremely grateful. Oh, that one I'm gonna skip, that one I'm gonna skip. Now I'm starting to presuppose. I'm extremely grateful for the sauna downstairs where I can perform my daily massages. I should have probably read this before I, I should have read it before I decided to do it on a live webinar in front of all these platforms. I, I, I give myself massages and it's not what you think, okay? <laughs> okay, come on, this is not an adult show. I give myself massages in the sauna with sesame oil, yes I do. Look into it, Google it, I'm not going into details. And they're nicer in the sauna. <laughs> Okay, where where's where's this webinar turning? I told you I'd ruin the webinar. Um, <laughs> okay, thank you for this delicious morning coffee. I know these are little minute things, but gratefulness is the key. It really is. I'm extremely grateful for the amazing breakfast to start off my extremely gratifying day. Maybe I'm a little too grateful for the simple things, but it's important. I know it. I'm telling you, I'm extremely. Here we go something that hadn't manifested yet and I've surpassed. I'm extremely grateful for my beautiful condo at the Metropole. Those of you who live in Ottawa, I wasn't at the Metropole back then. I was, it's just, these are things that I've gone beyond, but back then they were dreams. But I was extremely grateful for the condo that I have now. Back then, I said, 2009. I'm truly grateful for my 2009 Cadillac Escalade parked downstairs. I didn't have one back then. I had a Durango. I wasn't. I was moving up. I'm extremely grateful for to be working part time hours at the government of Canada, and working part time on my business. Ooh, did I do that on work hours? Some of these are true. From my beautiful home office downtown, which was my job. Oops, did I say that out loud? I'm extremely grateful for making a million dollars a year. I said that in 2009, but but the belief wasn't there. The belief wasn't really there. Now making eight figures, 10 million a year, I see it. I actually have the path. It came to me super quick. So once your belief becomes more concrete, it becomes easier to ask to ask for bigger orders, I guess, from the universe. Sounds like a sounds like we're watching The Secret, doesn't it? Well, as a matter of fact. I'm kind of obsessed with the secret. Thank you for putting over $1 million in my bank account after taxes. That, that wasn't in there then. I want to tell you guys, it sounds like I'm talking about money, 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 money. It's important. Money is important. You can't grow a business. You can't make a difference without money. That's why with the funnel I'm doing for you guys, it's about getting money to fuel your operation. Many of you are not going to see your potential if you don't have a chunk of change coming in all the time. You need money to fuel your operation. And if you don't have money to fuel your operation, Facebook ads, time for personal development. Who's in a rat race here? Engage, please. Who's in a rat race? Who feels like they don't have enough time to literally, I don't mean just get an hour in at night, when I work, I have to focus. It takes me, when I used to work at a job, it used to take me an hour just to uh, get into the other work zone. That takes time to make that shift at night. You can't just go, okay, let's get creative. You need time. What do, you need money to get time. You need money to read books, to take notes. It, it's, it's that freaking rat race. You gotta spare yourself some time to get your mind right. If you're working and you're working and you're working, I'm putting in the extra hours, but your mind's not there, money will clear that, okay? And I'm not talking millions. You need enough to fuel 10, 10 extra thousand a month. That's what I'm doing for you guys. I'm building this funnel so you guys can make an extra 10 grand a month on top. Keep paying your mortgage. Don't go blow it. Use it for your business. It's it's a lot of you guys are not going to reach your potential because you can't get in that zone. You you'll never know what you can do because you're not earning while you're learning. A lot of people borrow money to buy courses. Piss a lot of people off. We're like a big time. 
big time. But I'm public enemy number one. I can take it. They're, they're going to be so overvalued for free, and the funnels are going to convert so much that all kinds of people are going to be pissed. Uh, yeah, they will. They will. Coaches, uh, I'm just basically because I'm. I need to. I need to give you guys the cash. Okay. <laughs> I think we're done with this. Oh, I'm extremely grateful to not to be in any legal troubles whatsoever. I'm extremely grateful to be completely caught up in my taxes. I'm extremely grateful for being a non-smoker. These are things that hadn't happened yet. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, huh? So, want to share that with you guys because it's it's real. It's raw. It's real. Even I was like, and there's some things about. I am single. I'm allowed to like women. Okay. It's allowed for a single person. Let's go. The funnel. Here's, I talked about the funnel briefly. Guys, whoever's on here, well, I'm going to take some Instagram questions. How long have we been on? Does anyone know? Okay, no, 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 no. Has it been, has it been two and a half hours? Is that a fact? Okay, here's what I need you to do as I talk about the funnel and my call to action. My call to action is very, very, very simple. I want to put money in your pocket. I want you to use the funnel that I build. Try it out for free. It is for free. You don't need to be a platinum partner in the university. Here's what happens. You go to Branding University. I, the link's not popped there, but it was on the whole time. Branding, you need two hours, 45 minutes. Why don't we make it an even three, right? Listen, brandinguniversity.com. When you enroll as a student, you will be on an email list. I'm trying to think of the worst thing that could happen. That's the worst thing that could happen. Unsubscribe and you're still in the university. There we go. That's how selfless I am about this stuff. I really am selfless, guys. I really am. Your story is worth way more than couple of hundred bucks a month. Believe me, your story of making 10 grand a month using the branding new funnels, your story of you branding yourself and building yourself a million dollar brand through Branding University, that story is worth way more than me taking a residual off you or selling you, I was going to use a bad word, selling you crap or stuff. It's way more valuable because with your story, it's going to get out there. It'll it'll blow up your brand. It'll blow up the university's brand and help more people, help more people, help more people and get more haters. I'll get more haters. I'll get more haters. But it's okay. Times are changing. It's time to help. Really, really. There's a lot of people helping. I've had people help me along the way, guys. Believe me. A lot. And it's called YouTube mostly and programs. So I'm not bashing anything. I'm just saying there's a lot of things I didn't agree with in the industry. So what do you do? You build your own, right? You build your own. Now I'm going to do it my, like Frank said, right? I did it my way. So that's what I recommend. Regi enroll in Branding University. Go to the bottom. Go to the bottom right. Register as a free affiliate. You'll get 25% of the funnels. They're they're all they're built, they're pretty well built. I'm releasing them next week. You will be notified in your email. Make sure you whitelist your email so you get notified. And that's it. That's my call to action. The funnel will do the rest. You're just gonna invite people to a webinar and the instructions will be there. That's what that's the power of IT, right? So well, you would like 10 grand a month. That's when I start collecting stories, guys. Well, maybe even better successes. But again, it's a lot of technical stuff, and these are not excuses. This is just I'm working with this. I'm working with this guy here. This is what you got. This is the Branding University team. Just, just the two of us. So I mean, we got we gotta pedal and we gotta learn. We gotta learn. That's the big thing. And then we gotta implement. And then we gotta this I shouldn't say gotta. We get to. We are grateful to be able to do it all. I'm grateful to be able to program this whole thing. If something goes wrong, I don't have to call anyone. I got servers lined up everywhere. I got I rent pretty heavy duty servers. I get in, I fix it. If you guys need something, there's a good recommendation, guess what? 
I fix it. If you guys want to see something new, if you guys have uh, something you want to add to the funnel, guess what? There's no compliancy. I am. I am the compliancy. So that's a really good thing. It's a real powerful thing. So, guys, that's that's my call to action. Now, I'm so funny. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm pumped up, Roberta. I'm pumped up because this, the income is one thing, but if I would have known earlier, Grant Cardone says it all the time. He never, he, if he has any regrets, it's not believing in, in, in himself and not having big enough goals. That's what he says. I didn't have big enough goals. Making a million dollars a year was a pipe dream. I, I was telling myself I'll one day make that. At one point, just being a millionaire was a big deal, just like total net worth. But a million a year, eh, I'm saying it, but I don't know if I believe it. That's garbage. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's not hard. Believe me. It's with education. If you're the expert, you know what some of these experts charge? It's not that hard. I'm, I'm, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into all that stuff. Something you can fix. I haven't been able. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, the big goals are necessary, Cynthia. You got to do it. You got to do it. Um, let's ask your questions. What, at the bottom, running out of time. What, we've only been on three hours, guys. Chill. Chill. It's only three hours. <laughs> yeah, but the value is insane. I'm tired. Look at that. Oh, by the way, the Branding University t-shirts are just about done for my founding founding partners. You know who you are. I've only contacted I've, I've only contacted not quite all of the hundred, but there's only 25 of what, what where am I going? Why am I doing this? Why am I talking about this? Let's go. Gerald, questions guys at the bottom. You'll see a little QA where it says chat. There's a drop down or there's a QA icon. Please click that. Mind you, it doesn't really matter because I have to, I'm just going to answer the webinar thing, guys, today. I can't do Facebook right now. I can't do Twitter. I can't do Instagram. I can't do any of them. I got to do just you guys because, like I said, two, two and a half hours. Whatever the case may be, it's time for us to go. It's time for us to call it a day. So the ones on the webinar, these are the benefits of showing up live, okay? These are the benefits of showing up live. You get to ask me stuff. So we're going to start with Gerald. Oh, Gerald, something you can fix. I haven't been able to see any of the links you emailed me on Facebook for months now. That's because I blocked you, Gerald. I blocked you. Just kidding. Um, just message me, Gerald. Or no, you know what you do? Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Do not message me on Facebook. It's impossible now. I've gotten, I've gotten to that level of success. I just can't do it anymore. Uh, coaching sessions that have been pre-booked, you're still on the list. I can only hit three of you per week now, but it's okay. You're on the list. The longer it takes, the better for you, the better for me, because I've become a better coach. Well, I've always been a really amazing, incredible coach, but that's not really sarcasm because I've done it. I know what to look for now. But what I'm saying is those of you I've given over 375 free coaching sessions. Well, that's what was booked, and I still have about 112 to go. But you're, you're on the list, guys. I'm doing three to five a week. So if you're on the list, hang tight. I'm not going to miss you. You're going to hear from me. I'm going in sequential order. But what I'm saying is I no longer do one-on-one -on -one coaching after this. This is it. So I can't respond to messages. It's nothing personal. It's just the, the only way I can do that, and this is why, Gerald, I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to everyone. You must go to... The Branding University Group, okay, guys? The group, which is facebook.com slash groups slash Branding University. I'm letting everyone in. I'm letting, unless they look shady, I have really slick software, really slick software to tell me if it's a spammer or not. And if there's a spammer in the group, I find out pretty darn quick. I found out about a couple this morning. 
they're out of there. No pitching in there. But I approve of the post. But, I mean, if someone starts contacting everybody and pitching them, pitching them, pitching them, they're gone. I, I got that part taken care of, but I let 75% of people in. So just go there, post as a comment. Here's, the, here's how you do it. Post as a comment, your question, that I look at every single day, every second day, maybe every third day at the max. I'll be doing it every day. I'll look at that, and then I'll approve your post. It'll go into the group for everyone to see, and I will answer it there. That's what we call leverage. So when I answer your question, number one, if I don't know what it is, I'll find out what it is. I'll, I'll figure it out. And number two, everyone can see the answer. Does that make sense? Makes sense, right? So facebook.com slash groups slash branding university. I say it all the time. I will keep saying it. That's university, Y-O-U, university. Okay? Fair enough? Okay, guys. And Sopid, you got a coaching session coming. Let me see. I know. I, I look at the list every day. And I don't play favorites. I believe Mary Beth has got a coaching session too. This is only – I'm going to talk about that, guys, because when I booked almost 400 free coaching sessions, I, I, knew, I knew what I was getting myself into. If you want to get good at something, you know what the best way to get really, 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 really good at something? What do you think it is? Do you think it's studying all day long? You got to study. Okay, Gerald, awesome. You got to study, but you got to do it. Do the thing. You're going to suck at first. When I was when I was succeeding, coaching was a different thing. I was like, do this, 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 this. Okay, bye-bye, click. What if that's not what they want? What if they don't want to make a million a year? What if you don't? What if I, I have to find out what we're going to do for you first? And we can do that in a short amount of time. Just do it, Nike. You got to just do it. You're, you're going to suck at first, and that applies to everything. Gotta, what did I say? There's a certain comfortability about being uncomfortable. There is. When I'm uncomfortable at something, I'm comfortable because I know. When I'm uncomfortable and I'm like, I know I'm, I'm kind of subconsciously comfortable because I know every time I'm uncomfortable, it's leading to my to greater levels of success. So if you're comfortable all day long, you should be uncomfortable. Kind of a weird way to look at it. I should do a blog post on that. I will do a blog post on that. There is a certain comfort in being uncomfortable. So what I do is, yeah, your coaching set. And here's how it works. It's only a half an hour because, I mean, beyond that, you got to pull out your credit card. <clears throat> Just kidding. We're going to have an awesome coaching program in the university. I'm talking – Best of the best. Uh, I say that. <laughs> Is that arrogant or what? <laughs> that just came out naturally to the best on the planet. The best. It's, just, it's simply the best. I'm saying that because I'm so confident in what I want to coach on. Like the, the, the blueprint, the treasure map, I'm so confident about it because I've done it and I continue to do it. And that's why I'm confident. Uh, it's, not, it's not about ego. I want to be clear here. It's not about ego or arrogance. It's just I know how to teach it. And it's a super long process. It, it just is. It just is. It's okay. It's going to be a one-year coaching package, group coaching, only 12 people at a time. I'm only taking 12 people per year. And that's what it's going to – rolling it out is going to be – 2018, okay? Because it's got to it's got to be to my standards. It's got to be to my standards. I'm actually quite picky of the people that talk to that speak on this thing. I really am. <laughs> I am. I'm, I want to bring you the best. So that's how the coaching will be. And yes, there will be one-on-one -on -one sessions with that. But the reason I said that, the whole thing, oh, my God, Lalonde, it takes you forever. It was just for Gerald's question, okay? That's what it was for. I can't respond to you. Please don't get offended. But what I do is I randomly grab people. I really do. Like, keep keep messaging me because every day I'll go and I'll just 
because my messengers are like a stock ticker, right? That's every successful person. It's, it happens to all of them. I'm nothing special. Once you reach a certain income level and you put enough value out in the marketplace over time, people, this, this, this stuff goes viral. So what I say, what I mean is I do pick people randomly and I just say, hey, how's it going? How can I help you? So that's the best I can do unless you follow the instructions about posting in the group. And then everybody benefits. Okay, guys? Are we cool with that? I'm going to take a couple more questions right now, if I can answer them. Gerald, that one's got to go in the group because I don't. I, I, I'm going to ask for more clarity. Okay, cool. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to have a sip of tea. I'm going to have a sip of tea. I'm going to pet Larry for another ten minutes, and then uh, we're going to get to it. We're going to get cracking. So if there's any questions, I'm just chilling. Oh, the platforms are. Sorry, guys. You got to show up live. You got to show up on the webinar every week. Contact a branding university partner. Okay? Contact a branding university partner. Put in the hashtag branding university. Here, I, here we go. If you guys are, T is the best. T is the best. Okay. I got a call to action. To all my branding university partners there that are on here right now. Who's the Branding University partner? Say I. Platinum, if you're, say standard or platinum, please. I'd like to know in the chat. Same thing, uh, I'll show you the T in a sec, Daria. Um, all platforms, please. If you're a Branding University partner, say I am a platinum partner or I'm a standard partner. I just wanna know. Gerald's a standard partner. I, Wendy, Kath, you're platinum. Todd is a platinum partner. There's platinum partners. There's a lot of use. A lot of use. We get platinum partners ships every day now. Thank you, by the way. Some of you are getting some of you are getting commissions already. It's seventy-seven dollars a month, guys, and that's going to go up. I'm just telling. I'm just saying that's going up, and I have no problem putting that up because it's a return on investment. I know what they're going to pay. I'm looking at the stats. It's just people are promoting this stuff. Platinum, 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 uh, Wendy, Platinum, Sophie, Platinum, Cynthia, Standard, Daria, Platinum, and Mary Beth, Platinum, Timothy, Standard, Roberta, Standard. Okay, here's what you guys do. Here's what you guys do. You ready? This is going to get out there, okay? You want some commissions? Here's what you do. For those of you who want to join the university or would like to know about next week's webinar, if you want to know about next week's webinar, you need to be invited. You guys know how to invite, right? You guys know how to invite partners? I'll put in, I'll make sure that's in the group tomorrow, exactly how to invite so that if someone joins off that $77 a month, let's say 80 bucks, you get 60 bucks of that platinum partners every month, every single month. It's a residual income. You get 10 people on, that's an extra 600 bucks a month, right? Yeah. People are doing it with no, with no instructions. People are doing it. Basically, I'm going to put the steps because I don't want to put them here. If you guys want to be invited to next week's webinar, here's what you do. To my partners, here's what you do. Go on Facebook or any social media. Use the hashtag branding university and say, I am a branding university partner. Do that. That's your call to action. Just put it on your Facebook. Put it on your wall. Just put it on your wall. Or get it in there somehow. Make sure you hashtag it, whatever platform you're on. For those of you who are not in the university, contact a Branding University partner by putting in the hashtag Branding University. How's that? I just created a little network. I just created a hashtag network. How do you find a rep? How do you find a partner? Put in that hashtag. Fair enough, guys? Don't put standard or platinum. Just say you're a partner. Standard partners get 25% for free by the way, free affiliate program. It's, it's, it's superb. It's superb. So are we cool guys? Do we have a long enough marathon? I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm blown away by this, by where this is going. I'm blown away by where this is going. You guys see, you guys ever see the movie, the, uh, the intern with Robert De Niro and, uh, What's her name? 
What's her name? Anne, Anne something. Help me out here. Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. This, I, I only watched half of it because I watch movies in pieces whenever I have my dinner or when I need a break. It's a phenomenal movie. I like the way that she's got her, her dot com of a clothing company. She's the boss. She's walking around in the old warehouse. It's all remodeled as a brand new dot com. That's how Branding University is going to be. Kind of like Techademics with Chris Record. Our first location will be in Ottawa. We're going to have a classroom thing. And why am I saying that? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> because this is the beginning. You guys are seeing the the infancy of this thing. It's going to be huge. I'm just tell I'm just letting you know. And the founding partners, guys, there'll be a lot of teaching opportunities, especially the people who were on today. You guys took valuable time out of your schedule. Mary Beth Bochel. It's not Bochel, it's Bochel. I didn't know that. I don't know if you speak French. Mary Beth Bochel, Willie and Daria Le Gagnard. I think I got that too. Helen Ronenberg, Chris Collier, Robert Bennett, Len Mooney, Scott Lindstrom. All of y'all, you're going to at least have an opportunity. You took out time out of your schedule to do this for free today. By the way, they're not getting paid. They're not getting paid. Well, they will, you will get paid because people are going to contact you and you hook them up with a pl It'll all come together nicely. Trust me, it's in here. It goes from here to here to here. <laughs> That's my process. Actually, I learned it off someone. So, guys, just uh, it was awesome. I had, a, I had a blast. I'm like, what's next? Study time? I'm definitely dissecting a lot of your stuff, guys. Okay. I had, a, I, had a, I had fun. I had fun. I was in the background, and I had a blast. But more importantly, I learned. And you guys are pretty. You, you guys are pretty entertaining. Some of you there. I was. Uh, I was. I was entertained. I was really entertained. Some of you, I didn't know you had that kind of like quirky little sense of humor. I like it. People like that. I think, or they don't. Be you. That's our brand, right? Branding you University. Be yourself. Unique you. Okay, guys, amazing session. We did it. I believe we did three hours. So um, for the replay, you know where to find it for now. Yeah, this is going to be on the Branding University Facebook page. That's, it's going to be in the group as well, but the page is open to the public, so you can share that away. You can share this and say, would you like to know more? But right now the process isn't to completely in place, but – Take action. You can make make you can make commissions right now, but we're gonna get more into that as we move along. Thank you guys. Amazing, amazing, amazing session. I'm allowed to say it was incredible because I didn't I didn't partake. It was all the fantastic speakers. Thank you guys. Love you guys. And this is just the beginning. We're climbing that mountain, and we're going to the summit with this. Okay? I'm going to leave you with that. Should I leave it you with a quote? No. We're going to be good. I got my Steve Jobs quote. I think I've said it often enough. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys on social media. The replay is on Facebook.com slash Branding University. Bye-bye, guys. Have an awesome Sunday.